back to this format again. So. Sorry, we're late. Nathan had to brush his beard. What? I did not have to brush my beard. Oh. Well, I did, but I was on time. Hey, I just need to say something filler. Just let me do That's it. good. That's good. Oh, we'll let some people get in here before we get right into it anyway. There's Greek. Uh, Come on. Let's see if I can pop this out. What do you want? Again. I don't have the things for you. I don't know what you think you need or what you want. Me and Nate are talking. Mm-hmm. We're talking. And then we'll just this. 95 people. It might be kind of cool and it might be... I just got a I just got a feeling it'll be a low viewed live, which means That's okay. Well it means I'll be able to get to questions after I go through the questions on all the all the things. We'll see. Where's all the people? I'm getting hugged. Oh, we're getting hugs. Oh, did I get a hug? Oh thanks. Thanks. Thanks for the hugs. Oh. Am I talking? All right. I think you're getting left out. What is Thank you for being you, like Nate. Well you're welcome. What is up with you right now? Let you guys. Oh my goodness. 114 <laughs> people after 30 <laughs> seconds. Well, there was, there was, um, 391. There was 70, 70 hanging out and waiting. I usually wait till, till we at least get like 500 or something. Just cause, you know, take some a minute. Notifications are just going off. Yep. Takes, huh. takes a second for all that, that to. Ball. Actually, it might spike after because the way I set it up this time, but we'll see. We're here to see Jen. Oh, I bet you are, Infinity. I bet you are. <laughs> uh, should we breed Minion? Could I have a pup? Well, I have no plans of breeding Minion. Um, but if I did, I think uh, the entire <laughs> world would probably fight for a puppy. Potentially. Okay, so I'm going to go through, try to hit some frequently asked questions, but I'm going to go through that video I uploaded. Mm -hmm. Check out the comments. Stop snorting. And Jen's got her hands full at the moment, so. Uh, I can hold the phone and read I'll you go questions. through this. All right, well, you can. There's the comments. Okay, well, I might have to get glasses. <laughs> I'm glad you think that's she, funny. She might have to get glasses. I might have to get glasses too. Just not. Hopefully for a while. Here's the oh, here's the number one most famous question. Does your pond hold water? Does my pond hold water? Um, yes. But officially I say it's CGI. That way people can still have doubt that it holds water or not. <laughs> Do you any... Do you what, do any gardening or canning on the we homestead? On? We're on TikTok. Do I do any gardening or canning on the homestead? Um, not really. That'll be any of that that does happen from now on will be all Jen. So that's up to her. I do plan on doing some gardening. I'm going to probably start cleaning the garden out this week. Man. Um, Minion. I don't know how crazy I'll go with it this first year. And I don't plan on doing any canning this first year, but I definitely want to get some things in the ground that we can use through the fall and winter going into next year. We can definitely freeze some things. Yeah, people people have an hard time hearing you. You might have to talk louder or get closer or something. I've never been accused of being quiet. Are you going to get another cat? Yes, I'm planning to get two more cats. Hopefully for, for three. Hopefully we'll have three here on the homestead then. Uh, Is Charlotte made out of bricks by chance? Because that's what no, it sounded she, like. She took my drink with her. Oh. Huh. What are your plans for hot water during the summer months when the war when it's too warm out to light a fire in here? That'll be a on-demand water heater, which I've yet to install. I have plans for one. Um, should quite sure that'll be at, by the end of the month that'll be happening have you considered uh prefab buildings i haven't really because i know how to build stuff and getting like buildings up the road and back here isn't impossible but it would be a challenge so i'd just rather build my own what brush were you brushing minion with in that video 
It wasn't the yellow rake one yeah, that ever has, is it? Yeah. I'll pull that up in a little bit. Somebody wanted to know what kind of brush that was. <laughs> what came up missing from Jen's house at the end of the videos? Oh my gosh. So there's a there's a part where you and I are talking in some video and so that you could get the sound of it, the voiceover stops and you can hear me say, and he had me convinced that things were missing from my house. So I was just telling Nate <laughs> about somebody in my past who, it was, yeah, it was just a messy story. I'm not going to get into my story like Nate has. Um, but yes, I, at one point, lived with somebody who had me convinced that somebody was breaking in and stealing things from us. It wasn't happening, but I know what it, what it feels like to be gaslit that way and like have somebody just have you thinking all messed up. Um, Let me jump to this super chat. What do you do to keep the fleas and ticks at bay? A variety of things and a Seresto collar. Um, there's those drops, which are like for flea and tick. It depends on the animal what I do, but as I get to that season, I'll make videos on it. If someone wanted to look for land similar to yours, how would they find some for sale? Me personally, I just looked like on all kinds of websites because I didn't care if I bought through a realtor or found some sort of like super secret handshake deal in a, in a tavern somewhere. Like I just somehow I just looking needed call, to find out call. about land. But yeah, basically, if you're looking for land, pursue every avenue. For me personally, I ended up buying through a realtor. Didn't expect it to go that way, but I didn't, yeah, I didn't like rule out looking through realtors and that's how I ended up getting it. Oh, you already talked about the TikTok band. Or you can answer again if you want, so I want to know what you're going to do if TikTok gets banned. What am I going to do if TikTok gets banned? Well, anybody that's watching this live currently knows exactly what I'll do. I'll be here on YouTube and any other platforms. This is a good one. So if the power was to go off, I guess if your solar system went down. Yeah. Um, That's a good Do question. you have a way of storing food for a long period of time? And what would you, what, what would you do if, like, all of a sudden we weren't going to have p power for a period <laughs> of time? That's a really good question. Um, depending what it is that, you know, I would have in the freezer, because that's how I predominantly store stuff, would be... Um, figure out if you can can it. As far as meats, I would salt cure all of that stuff immediately. Um, it's an old school method of preserving meat. Um, and I think it's pretty tasty that way. And I've done it before. So salt curing the, the meats would be top priority. Let's go back to this question. I don't know if you want to answer this one on here, but I want to go back to that because I have a question now too. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Now Jen's got questions for me, guys. She's, she's scrolling through. She's scrolling through the TikTok comments. Then we're going to jump to the YouTube ones under the same video. And I'm not going to forget Facebook and Instagram. How much of your trash can be burned? And what do you do with the other waste? Um, I have a neighbor that has trash pickup. And he never uses the capacity. So every once in a while I take stuff over to him and do it that way. Um, I've seen a lot of people curious about this now. This, after your story and talking about the guinea pigs, people are so curious. What was the purpose of having guinea pigs on a homestead? What did that do for you? That was all a money-making um, thing by Jezebel. Um, she was going to breed and, and sell them. As and, pets. As so pets. She and she, pets. she did somewhat. Like, obviously, like, she didn't continue with that but yeah it was it was just a quote livestock thing to raise and then sell for profit it cracked me up at the amount of people in the comments that thought that you guys were raising guinea pigs for food well some people some people do in in other countries i don't think they're quite guinea pigs i think they're bigger but they're they're really like similar okay um so would you consider yourself to be religious now yeah, I would be, I would consider myself religious now. Yep. I'm not going to let crazy religious people, like, make me 
just assume that all religion is bad. Like, I mean, you can decide that if you want for yourself, but just because these people did something in the name of God doesn't mean God, God is, like, agreeing with them. Right. Even though that's what they would like you to believe. <laughs> This person says, I have a question about As. So in some hypothetical scenario where As injured himself, like if he cut the pad of his foot to the point where he needs stitches, how would you handle that? With the normal dog, assuming it's cute and trained, the dog would just be on bed rest for a while. But because As is out there and running around, like how do you, how will you handle him if he needs care? Yeah, so most most things I would do my best to treat him myself. Like if it's something that needs stitches or something, then I'm probably going to take him to a vet. Um, but like as far as like if he had an injured foot or something, I'd have to bandage it and train him not to tear his bandage off. Um, training, training goes a long ways and stuff like that. And the other hand is they're like super hardy dogs and they get tore up in fights with coyotes and other things and farmers just spray them with stuff and they usually heal yeah if you were ever injured and then in his in caring for him needed to be like watched over and we had to make sure that he wasn't doing certain things by all means he would come indoors he would be tethered to an area we would watch him we'd keep him off the foot if he wasn't supposed to be on it we would keep him from yeah. licking if that's what was needed to be done um, if it was just like, they don't want him jumping and running, then unfortunately, you, you know, you tether them for a bit to keep them from being able to run or to overexert themselves. We right. would do whatever we had to do though, to Pretty much, make sure like, that he would get the care that he needed. You don't, at least, you know, I don't like if I have an animal that needs like some sort of care, like I just do whatever it is that is going to take care of them. Yep. If that yep. means he comes in for a bit. That means he comes in. It for does. A bit. That's exactly right. What else we got? How did you choose his as his name and does it have special meaning to you? It's short for Aslan and Aslan in Turkish means lion and as is a Turkish Baz shepherd. So and he looks like a lion. He sounds like a lion. Nate and I were going through names and we had one picked out that we really liked. And then he was like, look up some more names. And I was like, okay. And I was still kind of stuck on this other one. And as soon as I said Aslan, he was like, nope, that's it. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Aslan? And he's like, yep, that's it. That's his name. <laughs> yep, that was it. He knew it. right away. Thanks for the super chat, Warzone. And I am going to jump over to the comments as soon as we get through these videos. Because I said I wasn't going to ignore the people. So I'm not going to ignore the people. Do you plan to, to hatch more ducklings this year? I do. I definitely plan to hatch more ducklings this year. How's other, as with other people, like when the neighbors come over? He's good. He looks to me like when other people come, he looks to me for what the right choices to make. And he goes off my mannerisms and how I behave. Um, so if I'm just super friendly with my neighbors, which I am, then he's super friendly with them. Um, at some point he does get to know them. And there's some neighbors that I'm sure like the ones that frequent, like he'd have no trouble whether I was here or not. Like he'd just be like, oh, these are friends. Now I forgot that question I had in my head. Oh, how many acres do you have and what did you pay per acre? I have 102 acres and I paid just over a thousand an acre for it. Sea bass, make big fats. Thank you for the massive super chat. I'm proud of you. you use this for Jen or steak or minion carry on homesteading. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. How do you feel about pump hydro energy? I think hydro energy is amazing and awesome just for me practically at the moment. Um, but it's possible someday I would pump water up from that big pond and let it flow down through turbines and, um, kind of have like a, a, water battery, if you will. I've thought, I've thought about this. I've thought about this. Have you ever thought about having a cartographer map your property? Seems like a fun idea. What do you say? Thought about having a cartographer, cartographer oh. map your property. Yeah. Um, that would be kind of cool. Um, I mean, there are, yeah, I don't know. I guess, I guess technically I haven't really thought about that. Um, 
it would be, it would be cool to have all kinds of different maps of the property though like yeah i mean there's so much you could do i know a good geologist though do you have your social media accounts linked like all over the place back and forth so they are, know they're not hitting fake accounts i somewhat do i need to do much better at that um all right I'll help you with that. Let's take time this week and get them all clear. Somebody, some people were trying to find you on Discord the other night when I was live, and you had your link. You have a link for Discord on YouTube, but they didn't. You didn't have one on a different platform, and yeah, then I they were I trying to find you here. All, and that, all that, spam. all those problems. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. So it's down in most places. I guess I missed it on YouTube. <laughs> all right, we are as far through. This platform is I'm going to read questions. Right. Some of them were. Of course not. Not worth reading. Right. Some of them shouldn't have even been typed. Right? Yeah, <laughs> typically. I'm going to catch up with the Super Chats in just a second. I just got to find... Got to find this other platform for oh. Jen, which of course went and reset itself. Yes, my old ass handed him the phone to find the next platform. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you do it. All right, there's only 17 on Facebook. Here you go. All right, I think let she me, wants water. Let I'm me catch up on the super chat. That's good, because I need to find eyes so I can read these damn things. <laughs> All right. What is, in your opinion, the largest purpose of life, and what ways do you embrace that? Um, I don't know. I feel like I could do an entire two-hour thing on that but um basically i would just say the love god and love your neighbor um yeah <laughs> i would without without getting too carried away and i mean what's it mean to love your neighbor for example will be kind to your fellow man like you can totally expound on that but um I'll, I'll go more into, like, I'll probably do it in separate, like, long-format YouTube videos, eventually go into some more of what I believe religiously, but just keep it out of everybody's face, because the vast majority of people do not like religious ideas shoved in their face, so I'll just kind of, like, tuck it away in the channel where you can, like, go find it if you want it, but easy to ignore. And Jonesy sent $5 for Dagger's emotional well-being. Well, thanks. I've definitely been... <laughs> Been working on his emotional well-being. Man, we're watching your stories. I'm sorry all that happened to him. Glad you bounced back with a vengeance. That's exactly what I did. I bounced back with a vengeance. <laughs> like the way you framed that. You've been a treasure to watch, and I enjoy every second of it. Much love. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. You ever considered doing wolfing on your homestead? Way down the road, of course. Yes, absolutely I have. If I had some place to put people up, um, I know I've got somebody that's capable of feeding people on the homestead now. Um, you know what woofing is? No. So, woofing? Woof? Woof? Yeah. <laughs> it's basically, um, I don't remember what the acronym stands for, but it's a nonprofit organization that takes people, people want to live on a homestead or farm for a little while and help out and work in exchange. They get room and board and food. And they learn how. And they learn, and it's a set duration, and it's all through the program. And I assume they background check people. And oh, go so kind of what we've talked about by having yeah. an organization fund station that kind of like oversees everything. Something like that. Kind of like yeah, that. that's yep. cool. That's but yeah, cool. I would consider that. I just don't meet the qualifications oh. at the moment to. Uh, yeah, any cat names picked out for the new ones that are coming this summer? Love you both. Thank you for your content. I don't have any cat names picked out yet. I'll probably stick with the same theme of like small sharp objects and name them after them. But we'll we'll see what happens. That's what it was, your tea. <laughs> oh, it fell again. Karen sent a super chat. Thank you. And I am gonna get to the regular chat. Just bear with me, guys. Okay, so now we're on Facebook. So if you're watching from Facebook and you had questions. Uh, the first question is Jody. She and her husband moved off grid, and there's a creek by their property. Do you think it would be safe to collect collect the creek water and store it? How do you keep water from getting stagnant, and do you treat or put bleach in it? So, 
yes. Um, you want to ideally you'd have a spring fed creek and pull your water from it as high up as possible, or make sure there's nothing dead in the Shiloh. dead in the water floating. Um, but you're probably you're probably okay. I mean, it's it's going to depend on the source of your your water. But yeah, definitely use bleach. Um, obviously you can boil water, but if you collect 500 gallons, you don't want to boil 500 gallons of water. Like I get that. Um, so, but yeah, you can treat it with bleach or chlorine. Um, it's fairly common. If I, if I didn't have rainwater and I had a Creek, I would definitely pull water from the Creek and filter it or boil it or otherwise treat it. Have you set up motion sensor floodlights pointing into the woods so creatures can't sneak up on the ass and make it easier? No, I haven't, but pointing into the woods, twigs, branches, all that stuff moves. Those lights would just be on until it killed the batteries and then they would be off. Oh, this lady's funny. She says, are you going to buy a cool air high velocity dog blow dryer and blow Az's hair out on a live? I don't want to miss that. It's like 10 years of brushing in 40 minutes. Wear goggles and a hairnet and you might need a big bag of treats. Oh my gosh, that's yes, funny. All you Husky and German Shepherd owners need to spend $50 on one of these dryers. 10 minutes per week and you won't need to vacuum. Just remember to only use cool air. So... I don't know about buying a special high velocity blower, but we do have. Well, I have a leaf blower. Well, that, <laughs> but we do have the all in one mm -hmm. seven, seven in one dog grooming vacuum thing, and it we has do. a blowout air thing on it. So I might totally try that. If you guys liked that kind of thing, I have been out brushing as um, at least once a day. I started last week. I didn't do it over the weekend, but I've been out there brushing him and getting some of that undercoat out, and it's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Yep. Um, what else we got? I'm reading, I'm reading. Hey, question, why don't you have a well for water? Why don't you use a well for water? I have a well for water. I'm surprised I didn't get that one more already. Um, well, it rains a lot here. Rainwater collection is fairly easy and straightforward. And what? I think she wants water. I'll get her some. <sighs> Would you like some water? And um, I got through those. Okay, good. Because it's not on it anymore. Um, I have some neighbors with wells. I have a neighbor who tried to drill a well, and it didn't go that well. Um, it went... <laughs> didn't go that well. That's right. <laughs> I was going to let them laugh, but you can laugh too. <laughs> Um, it went really, they went really deep and never got anything that was worthwhile having. It's just a tough, tough area to get a well. Um, if I lived in a desert, it'd be a disaster. But since I live where I get almost 40 inches of rainfall a year, it's not a disaster. <laughs> um, not, not a big, not a big deal. And I don't have to worry about hard water like some wells have. And I mean, there's pros and cons to both types of systems. All right, couple super chats, one by Ben. Wishwhacker, absolute delight to know you both exist. May I ask, do you ever just sit outside and stare at the stars? I'm assuming it's a stunning sky there. It is stunning, and I do do that. We've we've done it together a couple times. Stare at the sky? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. The stars? Yeah. Yep. 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 We watched a meteor shower last year. We did. A couple nights in a row, that was a lot of fun. Um, and then, some nights the Milky Way is just, it's like you can reach up and touch it. Right. Somebody over there asked, can I do your, your water treatment install? Water treatment install. They want to do a water treatment install, they said. You might be able to. Um, reach reach out to, to me through my email. Jen says, hey, Nate and Jen, my husband and I love your content. My uncle owns a gunsmith shop in Walton, West Virginia. It's called Manhart's Gunsmithing. I've been there. It's a better known by a third gen gunsmith with 30 years experience. Yep. That's I, awesome. I've been to him. I've been to him. Uh, I think I've been out there twice, actually. Um, and we hung out at least, at least the one time I think we hung out for like two hours and 
and talk back and forth. He probably doesn't remember me, I'm sure. He gets a lot of customers, but um, yeah, I've, I've been there. It's probably been, actually, it's been over, over two years. Time flies. Been here for, it's been over two since I've been there. All right. Love to hear your analysis of the differences between specific breeds of ducks. We're now in the YouTube shorts comments. Um, analysis between the specific breeds of ducks. So I'm, I'm not a duck expert. I know what I like in ducks and what I don't like in ducks. Um, and the Scoby ducks are quiet. They don't dig nearly as much as other ducks do, at least from what I've observed. They're very you know, good at hatching their own they're very good at eggs. hatching their own eggs. They're great moms. They're excellent moms. You don't need an incubator, which is good, because if you try to use an incubator, you're going to be disappointed. <laughs> You'll get something, but yeah. Um, it's, it's difficult to be successful with an incubator. Um, I don't know. They, they're, they're just very hardy birds. They're just very hardy. They get all their own food here. Could you do a very detailed animal training long form video? I could try. See, the thing is, I'm not an animal trainer. I just successfully train my animals. I, as far as like teaching other people the hows and whys, like, so I would struggle. I think when sometimes, so I've been running across animal trainers on TikTok and stuff too, and those people are like literally. I think they're training other people's dogs too. Yeah. But they're they're like specifically working with the dog on one command over and over and and training it and i think that's what people want to see and Probably. you your training with as is communicating with him and working with him and just being outside doing your things alongside him redirecting him guiding him that kind of thing it's not yeah. like you're not throwing a ball and telling him that he can't chase it no. You know, it's it's a different type of training. And mo most times when somebody hires a dog trainer, they want obedience they a training. specific problem or, yeah, they just want general obedience. And what I'm doing is just way different. And I could probably do a video just going over the the things that actually matter behind the scenes, like being consistent and the relationship with them. And most people, most people's animals love them and most people respect their animals, but very few people have animals that respect them back. That's like missing with most of it. And then all of a sudden you have animals that only listen to you when you're holding a treat or something. And that's like kind of useless. Wait a minute, come here. Now watch Minion not listen to me at all. Minion! Come here. Did I come up again? Wait, with all the squeaking. I'm trying to think. That might have been Charlo. No, it was Minion. I think I'm going to migrate my eye. It's like total blurry things around my eyes. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've been staring at the sun. Have you been staring at the sun by chance? I haven't been outside. Everywhere I look, I have this floaty okay. over, over my eye. <laughs> Dinah Guy Greg just says that and then says that is all, Lord Minion. <laughs> what says what? What's it say? I'm not reading it on here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it just says balls. There's plenty of them over here. Ooh. He was squeaking them. Oh. Lord Minion. All right, done. Good content, Nate. Be looking at you on YouTube in 10 minutes. Awesome. Well, hopefully you're here. It's Jen Garden. You're going to have a garden this year. Yes, Jen's going to do something. And she did address it a little bit earlier. Have you ever watched Raven Tree Farm's channel with her livestock dogs? I have. Minion. Leave it alone. Hi. You're not Minion, but hi. Do you have plans on getting an emu? I had an emu, and um, I may do more. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's going to be a bit. Why did you fix Dacre? Was he broken? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me, let me get through these broken. so we can get into that. <laughs> they have funny questions. I know they do. That's why I want to get through these and get into it. He was It'll not. Be cool. He wasn't at Shamrock Run today. No. Unless he can be in two places at once. 
Yep. Question, how hardy are ducks? I mean, how well do they do in the cold where I live? It gets pretty cold in winter and hot in summer. They're pretty temperature tolerant. Um, you have to, I mean, I say you have to watch for frostbite, but then again, like chickens get frostbite faster than my Muscovy ducks have. They're, um, we keep their coop dry, we as dry as we possibly can yeah. so that they have somewhere dry to go with their feet. But they yep. tend to just huddle together and they stand on one foot at a time and they keep themselves pretty warm. They do. I did have a duck not do well with frostbite this year, but it the was the ones. only one. He was also a smaller, the smaller one. Smaller than the rest. Shouldn't have mattered unless it had some sort of like blood circulation issue or something. And it could have. Who knows what? We don't know what was wrong. No. Just thought you would do really well with long format videos about homesteading tips. Use frequently asked questions as a baseline, make a playlist. I could do that. I could do that. Are eggs, are duck eggs more nutritious or higher in calories than chicken eggs? Honestly, I don't really know. They're richer. I think they're more delicious. Um, but calorie wise, like, I don't actually know. It'd be a better, better question for Google, which if I want to know, I'll have to Google it myself. Let's see. Say you are a Libra. Are you? Love all your content. Thanks for sharing. Mm. No, no, I'm not. Birthday is in May. Are you going to get a new dog and cat? I'll get new cats this year. No more dogs this year. Most likely. <laughs> what is 6 plus 4 and why is it 12? Unfortunately, I don't have the answers to help you. <laughs> Getting through the YouTube, getting through the YouTube short comments, guys. The questions particularly, and then we're gonna jump into jump into your questions. Just before, let me catch up on the super chats. That way I don't have multiple chats to catch up on. How long could you all survive a zombie apocalypse? I would live and survive just as long as well, I would I would live. I gotta, I gotta think about this. I, I'm pretty sure I would live just long enough to get bit by a zombie. I was going to say, would if it, you could keep would us... Would it be six or seven years from now, or would it be two months? I don't know. If you could keep the zombies away from us, we then have what it takes here to live for quite then a we'd while. we'd be okay. For quite a while. Yep. Yep. Yeah. As long as he could keep the zombies away from us, we would, we would be fine. That's right. <clears throat> what happened with the person who put nails and yours in your neighbor's driveway? Why do they have an issue with everyone? Somebody, um, I'm pretty sure somebody was butthurt and didn't have many ways to reach out and cause misery, so that was the best they could muster, and yeah, well. <laughs> Curious about what sort of projects you've been considering. Obviously, infrastructure, living space, animals, for their safety have been features on your channel's priorities, but okay, so they want to know about, um, I'm not sure how you say that. Tertiary projects, basically, um, for fun projects such as the hot tub. Um, that's a good question. I've been hyper focused on the not fun projects. Um, I'll probably end up building all sorts of miscellaneous tinkering things and something like a, like, I don't know what I want to say. Om almost like a, Mm, like I want to do like a sauna and a hot tub. Like I'd have like a whole area with just like cool stuff like that. So if I was going to answer this, I would say Nate and I, a lot of times in conversation, one of us will run across something and we'll be like, oh, that's cool. And then we're like, yeah, we could totally do that. We could do this here. We could do that there. So for instance, the other day he was like, check this out. And he shows me this video and these people had made this elevator. Was it in a garage? Mm-hmm. In a garage. It was an elevator. Was a two-story garage, and you they could like put things on it, and then it would take it up and they could store stuff in the second story very easy. Yeah. 
Yep. And I told him, I'm like, you could totally do that. Like, if we decide to do a two-story garage and you want your studio or whatever up there, mm -hmm. like, let's have a little elevator. That's totally cool. I, so little things like that all the time we talk about. I kind of want to, like, do something like that in the house where there's, like, a bookshelf, but, like, a very sturdy bookshelf. And you go on it and you, like, pull a book and all of a sudden the whole bookshelf, like, lifts up into the attic. Like, you stand on it like a ladder and it lifts yeah, you up. Yeah. <laughs> then, then I would have to do something so there's room for your body to go up to the attic and not just, like, mush you on the ceiling. His house will not, this house will not be normal, guys. Like, always, always we are coming up with crazy little things uh -huh. like that. And, yeah. That would be totally cool. So there's a lot of fun little project things we that talk is. about. Yeah, there's... It's just a matter of getting comes, into the bigger projects that... Bring those yeah. things around. When it comes to building my house, like, I don't want to do it in a rush, which is why I'm not building my house right now. It's why I have this whole living quarters. Um, I'll get there. But when it comes to building the house, I want to make it my house and do all kinds of cool like, stuff. Like, I want part of the kitchen to actually be a greenhouse. Like, I want to be able to grow stuff right there in the kitchen. That'd be super cool. Yeah. Yep, we can do that. All right. I'd well, love to learn more about the fire-fed hot tub. I'll, I'll have to do some more videos on that. I actually sh could break it out again. and We should. We should. It takes so much it's labor about... and time, though. And yeah, the spring is really cramped. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. If we both get out there and start cleaning it up and stuff, mm -hmm. it wouldn't take much. And the nights are still cool enough that it might be kind of fun. Yeah, cool nights, in my opinion, are mandatory for... I mean, I have firewood sitting there and everything. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to have cardboard boxes there long. The Liaz is getting into those. Right. We have questions about Muscovy ducks living in Indiana. I'm in, interested in raising some. I will try to write, watch the live feed tomorrow. I'm just going to have to do some videos on Muscovy ducks again um, because I've got a variety of questions about them. I'll, I'll have to do some more. You say you don't eat pork and just... Does that include wild boar? That would be correct. Why no geese? They're watch dog ducks with tasty eggs. Um, because they're noisy and I like nature sounds and I have a dog for being an actual watchdog. Um, geese aren't going to chase off coyotes or anything. So, <laughs> why did you choose ducks, lol? Ducks instead of chickens because they're much hardier birds, and they're quieter. Thank you for doing a QA. and a I'd like to know how Dagger's doing since his surgery and where he's staying now after the surgery. Mm -hmm. Concerned with him being lonely and missing Saber, and you're putting him in the camper alone at nights. He's just terribly lonely. Oh, come on. How to do that? All right, it's so it's a big question, but I'll, I'll answer the first part. Um... Yeah, he's not that lonely because we spend a ton of time with him. He comes back and forth all the time. He's he's really only up in the count camper while we're sleeping, and that's because we can't we can't keep him from going to the bathroom in here or no. doing other things. And he's got to stay off the bed because I have a cat allergy. Yo. Yep. So he's really just not in here while we're sleeping. Would Jen be willing to take some kind of natural allergy men remedies mm -hmm. to help him stay in the living quarters with you? even if he must stay in a cage often, and he's going back outside and he'll be reintroduced outside slowly. So like, it's just, just temporary. He spends lots of time in here. He does, he spends a ton of time I have in allergy here. drops and I take allergy pills. Nope. He's been in here a lot. Also like to know how you and Jen are really doing right now. You have a lot going on and it can be stressful. You're a great man, Jen seems to be God sent. Have a blessed evening. <laughs> I think we're doing all right, we are like, really really busy and a ton of stuff happening um but yeah all right all right all right all right let me catch up on the super chats and i'm gonna try to get through the rest of this one. Oh, there's only a couple cool minimum acres for a successful homestead in my area with a very high and clean water table with room for forestry livestock hunting fishing if available and growing. Also, do you grow food beyond the ducks? Good question. Um, minimum acreage for a successful homestead depends how many people you have and, and what you're eating. There's, peop there's people that homestead on like one acre 
and they do what they call like micro steading. There's people that do it on even smaller scales, um, but they can get a tremendous amount of food over out of an acre, out of half an acre. Um, you just choose the right types of animals and the right types of plants. Um, but if you want room for forestry, livestock, hunting, fishing, like, it, it's really hard to say because it depends on your area too. If, if you're in the uh, Arizona high desert, you're going to need tons of acreage. Um, if you're in the lush plains of Virginia, where some of that land is really expensive, you won't need anywhere near as much. Um, so it, it's hard to put a number on. Thank you for the super chat, though. Of your content inspired me to get my scoby ducks again and have been amazing to keep. That's awesome. How do you outside keep an eye on your land, land owner? Do you have drones? Um, that's funny. Um, I have cameras like everywhere and a live camera most of the time that you guys can keep an eye on and I have a dog. Um, and I have a good sense of hearing, so I usually know if anything's off or weird. And Bruce sent a super chat. Thank you. All right, let me let me let me get through this. Let me get through this list. This is cool. This is cool. Nobody can say I'm ignoring questions on a video anymore because I said I'd go through all the questions on these. You get the full story on how you got Minion. I'm gonna do a video on how I got Minion. The full story and part way through his life and everything. How I won, how I found a good breeder for as I just kept calling breeders until I found somebody I jived with that was raising the dog how I wanted dog raised. Um, how much was as because he was six months old he was on a significant discount and only cost thirty five hundred dollars, which I'm sure some people will not think that's a discount, but <laughs> it is. Homestead question, but massive fan as well as my daughter and wife. Really do appreciate the humanity did a shout out for my daughter last time on live. Wanted to know the meaning behind your tattoo. Also, it was the last time you had no beard, including stubble. I was 18 years old when I had no beard, including stubble. <laughs> um, and not 18 for very long. And the meaning behind my tattoo totally has something to do with my... Uh, um, previous relationship. It used to be a wedding ring tattoo. Now it's a dagger with a black widow spider jamming it through my finger. Just a good reminder to, uh, yeah, be careful who you trust. And it covered up that other tattoo, which I really didn't like. And someone else had the same question. Cool. Love to know price point for solar. I live in Austin, Texas. We have sunshine most of the year. So many people going door to door trying to get you to buy their solar. So if somebody's going door to door trying to get you to buy their solar, don't buy their solar. I really do want to do my own. I'm a single female with no one to help me, trying to keep things on budget. Really good at DIY. Not afraid to use tools. Just want to know a little bit before I jump in with both feet. Um, if you're trying to do it like on grid solar, which means you connect it to the electrical grid. I don't know if you can do it yourself. It would depend depend on your state's regulations, I guess. Um, if you want to just do your own like backup system or do your own because you're off the grid, um, build a small system and learn everything about it. And once you do that, it'll be a whole lot easier to step up to a much bigger system. Um, yeah. When did I start growing my beard? When I actually started growing, like the actual beard was about seven years ago. Other than that, I just had random facial hair, hair here and there. Wish for you to take up the point of starting up hunting from zero, taking new land and settling on it. I'll have to do a video on that too. That'd be a good idea. We had a, if you had a one-time large surprise infusion of cash and had to use it in a day, not including delivery time, what improvements would you invest the money into? I had to use it in a day? Man, I don't know. I mean, I just think buildings. 
because buildings are like things I wanted and want and one of the most expensive things. But I don't know if that's really a, a day thing. I'd probably just buy a bunch of random equipment. Bulldozer, skid steer. And like, yeah, if it was just some large amount, I don't know. As far as like a, a one day thing. I don't know, what would you do if you randomly got a million dollars tomorrow and, and you had to spend it all tomorrow? I would say I'll see you later. I'm going on a shopping spree. <laughs> yeah, and what would you buy? Um, I would definitely have a, at least one new vehicle. Okay. At least one. So um, that takes out 100,000. You've got 900,000 like, left. <laughs> I'd probably buy a shit ton of gift cards. There you go. So it just lets you buy stuff later then. Mm hmm. That's a good plan. A ton of gift cards. You probably you probably buy buy stores out of gift might, cards before you I spend it all. I might buy a small gas station. That'd mm -hmm. be cool. Yeah. I guess I'd probably buy more land. Best question like I've seen all land. night is, uh, what kind of beard care do you do? What do you do to keep your beard nice? How do you take well, care of your beard? I do to keep beard? the beard nice. I use the beard care products available at narrowwayhomestead.com. Surprise, I own the company, although it's rumored that Minion actually owns the company. Um, but yeah, I most definitely, most definitely recommend going there and checking out the beard oils, beard butters, beard brushes. I got the coolest comment on the website things. the other day too. Somebody said, are the ingredients that are listed on here the only thing you put in here? Because I'm used to reading labels that have, we added all this stuff that's bad for you. And I said, absolutely, everything you're reading there is 100%. What's that? All that's yep. in it, they're 100% natural, no ickies added. Like, that's right. <laughs> yep. Mm hmm. I loved that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yep. Hopefully, I'm not missing any. I hope not. Starting a garden, would you ever get a stove in the living quarters? Um, other than this wood stove or a different wood stove, that's probably what I'll stick with. Um, because I don't plan to be here more than a couple years, three, four years, maybe could be five. I don't know, but nothing, nothing super long term. And yes, Jen is planning to do a garden. Nothing crazy this year, but something. Off on our trips to town. What's the general shopping list? What stuff do you buy but want to be less dependent on buying? So Jen pretty much goes to town every seven to ten days. Buys food for the next week um every once in a while she stops somewhere and picks up like she got me a copper pipe the other day just miscellaneous stuff i might need um but i'd love to be less dependent on buying food from stores and it's something we're working towards brother do you still read the bible yes i do when you do a beard bundle with your products like to buy a set for my other half as a gift. I do want to do that. That's been something that's been on the list for probably six months or more, but hasn't hasn't come to pass yet. But yes, I want to. I love this one too. Are you ever afraid people are gonna look through our in through our window behind us? Yeah, it's terrified. <laughs> the only thing I'm for, I'm worried one morning I'm gonna look up and there's gonna be deer there and I'm gonna be like, ah Right. There's nobody. There's nobody. Yes, if I saw somebody look in the window, I would be absolutely terrified. Where the heck did you come from? Right. And how did you get here? Yep, that's... Nobody that's, will ever see it. Nobody sees in that window. No. That's one of the things that's awesome about being out here. Like, we could live mm -hmm. in a glass house, really. We could. <laughs> yeah, I would be terrified, of, actually, if somebody was looking in that window. It would startle the hell out of me. Right. I'm pretty sure I'd start the you hell out of them from? right back. Where did you get here? <laughs> yeah. Don't get married again, Nate. All right. Now you're confusing me. All yeah, right. We'll switch over reading. to the Super keep Chats. Reading. Here. I better give this to you so we can stay oh, on Oh, I get track. to continue? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I can see it. Okay. Where are we? Right there. But okay. Read your Super let me, Chats. Let me do the Super Chats. And then we're going to do the regular chats. I'm going to hang on here long enough to check out some... Some regular ones. Have you left any part of your land just saying be wild? Are you legally allowed? I've left 100 acres of 102 acres wild. 
Um, asking from UK, therefore beetles on the crossing is a crowd. <laughs> yeah, so I want to leave most of my land natural and encourage natural plants and like make it almost a wildlife preserve, but not without like, not with like rules, regulations, special zoning, just my own personal land that's kept in a natural way. Just don't get married again, Nate. Love you. Love you, Jen, LOL. Yeah, I saw that. That's funny. Neither one of us want to be married again. Watching your videos makes me miss West Virginia. Grew up in Barber County, now live in South Korea. Wow, that's like all the way around the world. Thank you for letting me get a taste of home. You're welcome. Do you by chance have any guinea chickens for sale? Wes, by God, you are hilarious. That is, a, that is an ancient joke. I don't even totally remember how it came about, but West by God's a TikToker. Mm -hmm. I don't remember. We we did, it was something about guinea chickens. Um, I don't know if he was going on about guinea chickens, if I was going on about guinea chickens, but the whole chat was wondering what guinea chickens were, and it was pretty funny. Nobody knew what guinea chickens were? They don't exist. Well, they're guineas. Yeah, but we were talking about guinea chickens, and it was confusing people. Uh oh. What does beard butter do? Good question. Um, it's kind of like beard oil, but beard oil is more for like the skin under the beard. The beard butter you put on the beard it helps shape it, keeps it moisturized, hydrated. Um, but then you can brush it and then it just helps shape and train the beard to grow how it's supposed to grow. And I need to use more of it probably because I actually need to band the, the beard hair like underneath the beard to help train it. Because I got some some wildness going on. All right. Can you go over your internet setup? I'll Not have, this, the start. I'll have to do that. I'll have to do that. You'll have to do that another time. Definitely uh, in a video. Have um, you ever seen a Sasquatch or Dogman? No. Do you believe in them? No. Unless I see one, then I'll probably believe in them. How old's Jen's pup? Four. Hey, Nate and Jen. Wondering how easy or difficult it is to make true friends to hang out with when you choose a life of having your space in your homestead. In a neighborhood, you obviously would have like 100 families within a half mile, or a regular job, you'd have coworkers, etc. Like couples game nights, or out to sporting events, or comedy shows. Just wondering how living on the homestead affects that. That's a really good question. It's a good thing we like each other most days. Yeah, that is. That's a very good thing. Funny they said a comedy event, because we totally got invited to a comedy event by a comedian, and we're going to go. Yep. And that's in a couple weeks. Takes, you know, we do stuff like that less often, but there's neighbors to hang out with, even though they're further away than most people's neighbors. Um, it's not very often, but typically if I hang out with anyone, I just get my girls on Discord. Mm-hmm. And go hang out. Yep. Or I'll get a... I did a live, or I'll hop on Nate's live and chit chat with people if I'm feeling chatty, that kind of thing. I don't really get that way because I'm an introvert, but yeah, Jen does. <laughs> I've had enough social interaction over the last week to last me for like two years, I'm pretty sure. I would like to know just exactly how much land would be enough to start homesteading. As much land as you need. You want, depends on what you want to do with yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, you can homestead on very little, but I always recommend to everybody buy as much land as you can right away. Like, you have enough, let's say you have enough money for land in a house. We'll buy, buy extra land and live in a shed for a little bit because you can always build a house later. You can't just always decide, hey, you know what? I want to turn this 10 acres into 30 acres because next thing you know, somebody bought the land next to you or it's not for sale and like it's easy to like put up other buildings wherever you want it's not easy just to like make more land yours wherever you want <laughs> hope it makes sense i don't know if you've answered this yet tonight do you plan on having another livestock guardian dog to back as up i'm getting another livestock guardian dog looking at the beginning of next year probably and livestock guardian dogs, because of their size, only live typically about 10 years. So how how do you plan to keep having dogs around? Mm, probably going to end up breeding, not like a lot, but 
just enough to like get another dog or two, sell the other ones and fund the purchase of say a dog with different genetics. So every couple of years you'd have a puppy that's in training? Probably. Ideally I'm gonna keep two to three dogs here all the time. Okay, so I feel you answered most of this in your series. Um, what did you do before homesteading? You were a contractor, you answered all of that. Yep. This, I think, hasn't really been answered, though. What was the biggest thing you were afraid to let go of? Or the biggest challenge? Um, like when I started that homesteading? That you feared, yeah, stepping off that grid and out here. The biggest thing I was afraid of was... I mean, I jumped into this like as much as I could. And the only thing that made me be brave enough to go for it is I always knew I could sell everything, move back to where I came from and start my contracting business again, like nothing ever happened. Um, when all those Mennonites came and did all that crazy stuff and left, they did everything they possibly could to destroy my reputation where I came from. I think I'd still have had plenty of customers, but I had nowhere to stay. Um, so if I wanted to sell this property, I probably could have rented an apartment, but you can't run a construction company out of an apartment. Um, I don't, I, pro I wouldn't have had the, the funding to actually buy a, a house out there again. Um, I had no option to go back at all. So like my emergency backup plan that gave me the confidence to come out here, totally evaporated. That being said, I didn't have to leave here, and now I'm good again. Do you have any plans to raise any other animals for meat process, like cows for milk, any? Possibly, nothing, nothing until I'm done building. I'm not even allowing myself to think much about future animals until I get the infrastructure I need in place. So this one we can actually answer pretty easy. How are you going to continue continue to grow your flock genetically? Are the offspring of the original three all related to one another? And I'm wondering how to keep the flock growing and genetically diverse, which so, right now is happening because of the drakes. <laughs> right. Muscovy ducks are very genetically diverse anyway. I know I talked to somebody who actually was a breeder, um, for dogs when I was looking and he's had a flock of the same Muscovies, no outside genetics for over 20 years. And he said, there's no issues. That being said, I keep, I do bird trades fairly regular. Um, probably at least once a year I end up acquiring or, you know, trading birds. Um, so I do it that way. So I'm thinking, so, um, just with a couple of these things, it might be a good idea to schedule a live on solar, like aside, maybe aside from your Sunday, right. one that you can record and put out there if people aren't able to catch it because they want to know about your water system from ground up. They want to know about your solar system from ground they up. Do. Like, mm -hmm. and if you're running into a problem, how do you know and what do you fix? Like yep. they want to know it all. For tell sure. us, Nate, tell us. Um, you should do a fire pit how-to video next. Fire pit how to. Mm hmm. He wants to build a fire pit and wants to follow you along with you doing it. Uh -huh. Yep. Okay. Um, I think that's it. I think you can uh -huh. chit chat with your people now. They've been asking you questions for an hour. Yeah, they have. Yep. We've got a couple super chats to catch up on. Let's... I will. I'm not going to totally ignore Instagram, though. I am going to check Instagram. Hello, Indonesia. And I'll have super chats to catch up on, one of which totally took me back down memory lane. I see you there. I'm, I'm getting to you. I'm getting to you. The spider's good. Unfortunately, I have absolutely no idea how to operate Instagram. Oh, here we go. Oh. I got four comments on Instagram. All right. All right. I'm not ignoring any of them. When are you marrying Jen? Um, probably never. I'm going to get married. 
or as married as we'll ever be, and we couldn't be more married unless you count the government piece of paper that we don't put any tremendous no high value in. <laughs> we see a picture without the beard. I've showed it before, but I don't have one with me. Your surname sounds like it's from the Balkans, so where's your family from? It's, it's a uh, Polish last name. Any plans to add new animals this spring, summer? Cats. I plan to add cats. All right, and now super chats, and then we're catching up to the. Vicky, you're getting muted and. To the regular gone away one. For that one, because that's not even cool. <laughs> okay. Super chats. I'm catching up on the super chats. I'm going to regular chat. Jeff says, you want some cats? <laughs> I think I have some lined up, but if I don't, I'll, uh, I'll reach out. <laughs> Do you remember the forum Menno Discuss? Glad to see you escaped the clutch of the conservative Mennonite cult like I did. Putting computers. Oh, my goodness. So I met this guy. What's he on here? The... Wow. Super Manny. Um... Man, when did I last talk to you? Was it like 15 years ago? I don't even know if that forum still exists. That's crazy. I do remember it, though. Yep. Actually, most of my posts and comments on that forum were when I was believing in Calvinism, but the reverse side where I was convinced that God hated me and there was nothing I could do to change it. But yeah, I remember that forum. Wow, that's way back in the day. I'm surprised you even recognized me. You have the same name, though. I do. I don't know if I ever used my real name on there or not. Not that I hid it, though. Like I've seen pictures of you in the past. You're not different. I mean, I'm not different. I have long hair and a huge beard. You got the same face. You can't see it underneath all this hair. Sure you can. I don't even wear glasses anymore, and I used to. I didn't used to, and I do now. <laughs> I'm so sure I will again. Open. Yep. Follow up to my minimum acres question. I have two options, a lush area northern MO, southern IA, western Illinois, where I'm originally from, or the Great Lakes region where I currently reside. <sighs> I am not totally familiar with the geographical areas that you mentioned, like not really any of them. Um, my experience is very limited based like in, in certain areas, Pennsylvania, Ohio, West Virginia. Um, I can even talk someone about Alaska just because I know like their weather patterns. I've never actually been there, but like, you know, everybody checks, at least I think so. Not everybody, and, and Alaska's huge, so, like, the weather patterns are totally different depending whether you're in the north, south, east, west, but, um, yeah, I just know absolutely nothing about the, uh, the weather of most of those, most of those areas you mentioned, or the soil type, or, or a lot of that stuff. Um, biggest thing I would tell people is, if you're looking to homestead in a certain area, see the way the people that have lived there for a couple of generations, see how they live their lives, see what they do. Um, there's probably, probably a reason for most of it. And even if you don't do things the way they do, at least try to understand the reason behind the way they do things. It'll probably help you out a ton. I did the same thing here in West Virginia and, and just watched and le learned what the locals were doing. Um, I learned a lot that way, even though I don't do everything the same. You still have moments of wonder, walking on your land, something in nature makes you to stare and wonder. I always stare and wonder around here. There's always something. It's just like, yep. what? Yeah, I still do. Just caught my first live. Thanks for the support. Well, thank you for the support. Gizmo guy, send a couple super chats. Do you hunt on the homestead? Yes, I go for venison. Thank you for the amazing content. Two questions. How much land do you have? 102 acres. How much of the, how much of it do the animals minion 
roam around on. So I pretty much try to keep the animals to a two acre area here as is expanded to about a four to five acre area. Um, he's got a little bit bigger area. Sometimes he randomly goes way further than that, but it's been, it's probably been a week since, if not longer, since he's like wandered beyond where I wanted him to. I didn't really do anything different either. He just didn't wander. As I check the GPS to make sure he's still here. I don't really know what his areas are. <laughs> Nate, why did you decide to go to West Virginia of all places? Pocket knife is new cat. Pocket knife. Oh, that's hysterical. Oh. <laughs> <Pocket knife. laughs> I like that. Or that's, switchblade. <laughs> right? That, that, that's a pretty clever name, actually. <laughs> PK. <laughs> PK. Why did I decide to go to West Virginia? It's not, I'm about 300 miles from where I was living and had a successful business. I was familiar enough with the weather of, say, eastern United States, um, mid-eastern United States. Um, so I knew it wouldn't be that radically different from what I already knew. Man, it's quit. Over there gagging and choking like some Come here. old sick man. All of a sudden I say, that. Hey, he's cool, he's cool, he's being chill. I love you. I love you. Mins. Uh -huh. For love. Released. But yeah, West Virginia, the taxes were cheap, the purchase prices were cheap. Um, Come in. All that stuff. All that stuff. Good day, sir and madam. Please give my respects to Lord Minion. Thank well, you. Lord Minion Thank thanks you for the respect. Here's everybody's right, loves. All the scritches from all the people. All the kisses from all the people. All the rubs. How did you train Ash to be off leash and how did you train him from rooming too far? This is Minion. Um, that's What's a tough question. Name? What's the dog's name, they say? I just made this an area he really wants to be. Like, he always gets fed here. Like, I feel like I didn't, have to, I didn't have to train him much at all. I don't feel like you really did either. Like, uh, uh, so, like, I struggle to answer, like, I, every, every interaction I ever have with him is training, and so, like, I do certain little things, but, like... So, I see it as he wants to be where you are, because that was the hard part when we would, at first, when we would leave or go down to the neighbors or something, he'd try to mm -hmm. follow us, and Nate would have to fight him back and show him where his yep. boundary was and make him stay, even yep. if that meant, like, we're all hanging out, and Nate was like, oh, here comes Az, and Nate would have to leave for a few minutes, he would take him back... And then it just finally got to the point where when we left, he wasn't leaving the boundary anymore. But as long as we're here, he really isn't going anywhere. I mean, he wandered down to the pond one day. He did, which but is he's like, not, like 500 trying to go yards down the road further or like, than he should. Yeah. It's just like a major deal. But. It is. It is. <laughs> yeah, um, no, he's. But for the most part, he just wants to be here. And, and I did early on every day before you got here, walked him multiple times a day, yep. walked the perimeter yep. and let him with know. him on a leash. Yep, and let him where know. Where I wanted him to be. And he redirects him. And I don't follow, I'm not, I'm a late night person. I don't sleep well. So while Nate's asleep, I can still watch as on the GPS thing. And I have an idea where he is. Um, I think I've woke you up, what, twice since I've been here to be like, hey. I think so. Something's up with Az. Yep. And one time, I think that, one time, I think the GPS was just not working because he was right out the door. <laughs> yeah. I woke Nate up. That happens sometimes. And he was just right out the door, but. Better to wake me up than not. Oh, that's no ghost. Not oh, matter than. No ghost. Oh, that's no yeah. ghost. Thank you so much for your content. Thank you for answering all my questions with honesty. When you're not familiar, you say so, but still give good advice. Well, thanks. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, like, I don't want to say anything that doesn't steer you in the right direction, if nothing else. And I, there's nothing worse than somebody pretending to know something that they know nothing about. Um, so, yeah, hopefully it was hopefully it was helpful. You can go. You don't and have thanks to stay. for, like... You can go. This what tells is, me this is that was your third super chat on this stream, so thank you. Because nope, I don't want to be released. I just want to be in my own position. <sighs> Why people like Minion? Well, you haven't watched enough videos. Go go watch some more of my videos and come back. <laughs> He's Minion. I don't I don't know what else to say about him. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> During the video series, you said you wanted to try to put your ex-wife in jail for an extended period of time. Isn't it better to just get away? Just to what? get away. I'm trying to rewind like four hours of content in my mind too. You wanted to put your ex-wife in jail for an extended period of time? Did you say that? Mm, I don't think I was specifically referring to her. I probably was referring to some of the other individuals because I talked about... Oh, the slaughter and the holding you hostage being, and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. my ex-wife wasn't actually here for any of that. So like, I didn't want to do any of that. <coughs> I didn't want to do anything legally unless it really affected them in a way where they had to go to jail for felonies. Um, and since the district yeah, attorney slap on had, the hand no, wasn't gonna do it. had no interest in any of that, um, I just refrained from doing any of that because the moment I exercised any kind of legal option, I have no idea what they would have done. Lolo. Mance, leave Yes, Charlo does get jealous sometimes when Minion is Come here, Mance. up here. Sometimes I'll call Minion and Charlo will jump up first. Come here, though. Uh, swear Minion's the most tolerant dog of his size I've ever seen. He's been trained extensively for 10 years straight now, so. He tolerates anything. <laughs> Praise Lord Minion. Love you guys and the content. Awesome, mm -hmm. and thank you. What's your long-term goal for the property? Any projects yet to start? Potential upgrades? I plan to, um... Man. Yeah, every time he squeaks, I totally Minion, lose my... I know. It, it, the toys annoy the heck out of Nate. They distract him completely. They do. I cannot think. He'll be doing it's, the video like... and somebody will squeak and he's like, done. <laughs> yep, I have to start totally over, erase lost. everything, start frame. again. His track. This is track of what he's talking about. Mins, don't squeak it. Man. Drop Saddle. it. Saddle. He's looking he's at so me like, cute. what? He's, he's, like, he's literally holding a, a duck in his mouth. But yeah, I totally lost where I was. No idea what I was talking about. Don't make it squeak or I'll have to Get the it. nails all cleaned up. Well, kind of, but I've been waiting. I can't, I can't, I was going to do a cool video, I but I can't wait about, anymore. I think they're talking about the nails on your driveway. Oh, could be. He gets so many comments on his I get, fingernails. I get so too. many comments on the fingernails. If, you, if you're talking about huge. the driveway, yes. Those got cleaned up. These nails I didn't get cleaned up, and I want to do it in a video, and it's going to be funny. But I don't know if I will anymore. I might just clean them up. We will. We'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> all right. All right. Where are we at? Still having problems with Dagger now that he's fixed. I'm not really letting him out long enough to matter. Like, so YouTube's actually, everybody watching the Dagger series is behind. He's been fixed for like... Four weeks. Four weeks. Which means he needs to go back to the vet like this week. They said six weeks, didn't they? They said four. I thought you told me six. Four. Oh, well then I need to get him an appointment. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, no idea where it was again. <laughs> Fingernails are also a tool. Yeah, they yeah, definitely they, are. They asked if he was, if you're having less problems with him now that he's fixed. Oh, right. Yeah, he's not really going out, and he's actually that whole story was delayed for like four weeks. So he's start. I'm starting to let him back outside slowly, but I wanted to do like a four to six week inside period to give him a whole mental reset. Um, to stop the going first where night he's we let him out when he came in, he had. You thought he had blood on his nose, remember? And yeah. that was last week on live. Yeah, it was. It he was, and, and he did. He did. He left the little spot of blood on him. And he, he, he figure had out his where. claws were all full of stuff, so he was. He was scrapping something. with something, yeah. But he wasn't really injured. But he hasn't been doing anything really since he's. I've seen him multiple times throughout the day, every day. So yeah. it's not like he's going far. Nope. Although today he must have gone far because he was panting when he was. Came back in. He's been coming up. And you this, don't you don't pant up. when it's sixty degrees. Right. Up, yeah. He might have been cat. running, but he's been coming yeah. up through this way is the way I've been seeing him come. I think he avoids going out that way now. I think he goes out this way because that's the way he left the other day when the I put him out. The driveway actually curls, and that's and exactly he reaches where it he's right going. there. Right. Yeah, yeah I get that. He's shot. just not yeah. going that way. No. He's going that way to get there. Yeah. Yeah. I think he always has like the shortest route. Oh. He doesn't care whether I have a nice 
I don't really know, when we were in the camper, on. they used, I used to see them go out the driveway all the time. Now, oh, yeah, last... Now they go this way. They would do less wit woods wandering when they were younger, for sure. Sure. They were more... More stick to the trails. Sager was never missing. Nope. Oh, do you and Lord Minion? Did your kitty come home? No, unfortunately not. You looking forward to summer weather or you prefer winter? I prefer summer. Um, I got bad circulation and I just randomly like get hand, hand cold issues like all winter long. <laughs> now you talked about tag, GPS tags before you've considered it for dagger, not so much. Um, because he's an outdoor cat, like they're very likely to get their collars stuck on stuff. So I like to use breakaway collars and I guarantee you he'd lose his GPS collar. The battery would die and I'd never find it again. And they're very expensive. <laughs> Sound like the father I never had. Oh man. Jen, do you ever get overwhelmed being off the grid and do you miss the city life? Not very often. Sometimes she wishes there was a certain store like five minutes away. Like different stores depending on what Doesn't it is she wants. Doesn't happen very often. Just yeah. recently, really. Kayla Ray with a big super chat. Oh, Whoa, wow. thank you. Thought about a greenhouse setup. Adore your content and y'all include the fur babies and the quack quacks. <laughs> Well, thanks. And yeah, a greenhouse setup yes. is definitely something. At some point, Jen might decide to do like a temporary greenhouse for starting plants. <laughs> it's nothing we did this year because we're obviously way late for like starting anything. But um, maybe in the next year. But eventually, I want to build a permanent greenhouse that's partially subterranean. And I've, I've, got, I've got ideas and plans, but it's nothing you throw up in a couple weeks, that's for sure. <laughs> I would totally start with one of those little greenhouses that you just buy on Amazon and throw up on the poles, though. Yeah. The thing is, it's windy here, so you have to, like, mm -hmm. be super careful with it. But I would love for one day to have the backside of my kitchen be a small greenhouse that I can just pop into and grab what I want from it and walk right back into the kitchen. <laughs> yep, that'd be cool. Will blow away, trust me. Yeah, that, that wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> See, by the time like you put up a greenhouse here and we don't have much wind, once the leaves are on the trees, it's kind of late for a greenhouse. So, yeah. I've never started a garden from seedlings. I've always, that's probably because that's the way my parents always did it, but I always just planted the seeds straight into the ground. <laughs> Granted, I've never grown anything in West and Virginia before. You can but you can just here depends. though. The, it just the growing depends season, what you're doing and the growing season is huge. It kind of surprises me how many people do greenhouses here because we have a long growing season. Like you can totally start tomatoes from seed and, and harvest a ton. Yeah. Now you go to Alaska or something. Good luck with that. But but here, for sure. Still time to plant crops for fall. Definitely. Love that big beard, brother. Thanks. Your P.O. box says, Spencer, are you in Roan County? I am in Roan County. Yep, I sure am. Would you grow sweet corn? Jen might. If I'm going to grow corn, I'm going to grow popcorn. I have no interest in any other type of corn. I just like popcorn. I got hurt by a church once. I have a literal scar on my back for life, and yet I still wear my rosary. Your ability to turn the other cheek far exceeds my own. God bless you guys. <laughs> well, thanks. Yeah, religions can be absolutely vicious to people, no question about it. Um, yeah, it's don't don't mistake my calm demeanor and everything for like me not being angry. I am absolutely enraged. However, I made the active choice not to do anything um, actively to harm the individuals who harmed me. Um, I'll, let, I'll let God take care of it. 
whatever he decides to do, that's how it'll be. Somebody asked, have you ever had, did you ever need dogs or cats before Minion? I have cats, but no dog. Um, I would say I'm probably still better at training cats than I am dogs. I just, I haven't, I've put a lot of effort into the cats I have, but um, since they're outdoor cats, I've just trained them differently. But if I have an indoor cat, it would be really cool. Dakota Johnson asks, me and my mom love you, and we would like to know what kind of dog is the big, blonde, large dog? The one outside. That would be Az. Mm -hmm. And Az is a Turkish Boz Shepherd. Yep. He's nine months old, and he's about 145 pounds. That's right. <laughs> what chore is your least favorite, Nate? What chore is my least favorite? Chores that, uh, chores that he does or chores of all? Because <laughs> there's plenty of chores he doesn't like. Like He doesn't like to do dishes, which is why I just did his dishes from last summer. Right. A few weeks ago. Yep. Um, she still has yet to do the dishes from last fall. And where are they? In the camper. <laughs> what did I tell you about the dishes in the camper? I didn't say anything about it being your fault or that you should have done them. I just said you have yet to do them. <laughs> So I made a deal with Nate that any dishes that he had mm. in the camper that he wanted to washed, if they made it down to the outdoor kitchen, I would wash them. Mm -hmm. And he has, in the past, brought me buckets. I have. I'm not kidding. Buckets of dishes out of the camper. <laughs> I have. But if they're sitting in the camper, they don't get washed. Nope. So. Nope. I've got a ton of stuff. I still haven't moved out of the camper. I still... Kind we haven't been lacking dishes. It's not like I can't imagine they can't make it themselves into like right. the next. What is that? Where you break the dishes and then you do art with the broken pieces. Mosaic. Oh. They could make them their ways into a mosaic, I'm sure. Probably. We have to leave them dirty though. You can make a minion mosaic. Wait, if I break if them dirty, and then bring them they'll to be the, the right color. kitchen, then will you wash them? I'm not going to wash them broken. Why would I? So they could be in a clean mosaic instead of a dirty mosaic. Well, no, you wash them first, you goof. Oh, oh, well, I don't know anything about all this. What's the name of your religious channel? It's only on TikTok. It is. And it's few who find it. All one word. And I have plans to make a long format YouTube video podcast style with a guy who's an atheist. And I think we'll both talk religion for a bit and just... We're... We... We don't really know each other's story, which is kind of cool. So we'll just discuss how we got where we are and why we believe what we believe. And it's not going to be like a debate or anything. We'll just, he's probably got questions. I'm sure I've got questions. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go back and forth. It'll be good. It'll make it a, make a long video out of it. I just don't do much religious content at all because it's just controversial and everybody gets mad. Um, in my religion, my religious beliefs are such that the Christians get mad at me. The atheists get mad at me. Um, I feel like just about everybody does. <laughs> so, and I'm just sitting here like, look, I only apply my religion to me. You guys do what you want to do. I just, you know, you don't have to do what I do. I just do what I do. What kind of beer are you drinking? Guinness Extra Stout. Have you ever considered getting quails? Another super chat that I kind of missed. Um, I've been interested in quail. She has. I have absolutely zero interest in <clears throat> anything but Muscovy ducks, but it doesn't mean that there won't be some other birds here at some point, but I personally don't have don't If he have doesn't interest. let me have some of the things that I want and they all have to be things that he's interested, I'm moving over to the neighbors. <laughs> There's an outhouse a quarter a quarter mile up the there hill is. and a whole other camper. There is. That we all know about. We do. And there's three mattresses in there. It'll be very comfy. I'll I leave the light on for you. <laughs> all right. No, you won't because there's no power up there. <laughs> oh, you'll be walking in the dark. Uh, no, if she wants quail, she can totally get <clears throat> quail, but it changes nothing about the fact that I have zero interest in quail. <laughs> So I have an interest in all kinds of things interest me. I absolutely love the whole idea of animals, but I don't want to get overwhelmed. And I know 
that's exactly how easy what happens. things can get overwhelming. Um, one of the neighbors has bunnies, and when we were over mm -hmm. there, like they were just like itty bitty. And then a couple weeks later, they were just a little bigger, and they're so cute, and they're so fuzzy, and like. I think yeah. those rabbits breed I faster than he would... can build cages for them. I know, but... That's literally what happens. Why do they have them? For me, for selling as pets, like, there's reasons. Okay, so that makes a difference, because, okay, so if I had rabbits, I, and I decided to breed them and sell the bunnies, I would breed the rabbits, I would sell the bunnies, then I would breed the rabbits again and sell the bunnies. Right. I wouldn't they get wouldn't to the point growing. where I was like, Nate, I need another cage. Nate, I need, I'm going to need another cage, Nate. You know it makes phenomenal dog to food? To the point where we've got... Rabbits. Well, let me go get a couple of her rabbits. <laughs> I will raise up her rabbits. But I also definitely have to have one that isn't going to be dog meat. Well, yeah. Or two, at least. You know, at a minimum. That, I, that are, like, my funds. But I would totally... We could totally feed as. Mm -hmm. Like, I could get a cup. But anyway. <laughs> so I, I'm thinking to myself, like, I could totally get a couple bunnies from her and do rabbits. But then I also look at the fact that they're always building another cage for more rabbits. And they are. I don't want to get to that point. I don't want to get to where I have five rabbit hutches and they're all continually growing and I can't do anything with them. And that's what no. I don't want to happen. I want to be, I want to do it, but I want to be responsible about it. Honestly, the best thing. And to I don't do. know how big those rabbits, I don't know, was, is it like six weeks, eight weeks? before they were ready to yeah, be dog like food. Weeks, like, probably. I don't know how long you raise them out. Honestly, the shorter amount we raise them out, the easier it'll be for me, for sure. And I would totally get used to the yeah. turnover of it. And of course, the other but, thing is, I'm pretty sure they buy food for them all, which I don't even know if monetarily wise how well that works out as far as like saving money on dog food or not. Now, if you sell them, you have to sell some of the bunnies and keep, you have to keep an income coming yeah. in. Like these are your selling bunnies. These are your feeding mm -hmm. bunnies and yep. yes, minion tax, as tax. Minion tax. If we could give as a raw meal, raw food like that, I mean, how cool would that to be able to feed him? I mean, that's I'd, how Kathy and Mike try to feed to, their dogs. I'd have to do some rabbits. research, but I'm pretty sure rabbits contain just about everything. The dogs would need fat. But eggs might qualify. Like, you have to balance a raw diet. Well, and but you might have to have a bag rabbits, of kibble or something around. Mm, I'd yeah. rather I'd rather go all raw, and I think I could, because rabbits are really well balanced except for fat. Like, they've got the liver. So then got, you're throwing they, eggs in there. They've got all the, just about all the boxes. They're just super lean. So I just have to do something with fat. Eggs, eggs fatty. might be enough. Yeah. I don't know. But... Quail. A quail fatty? <laughs> they might be. You have any idea so how many quail he would need? He'd need about 40 a day. You have to raise about 3,000 quail. Yeah, and I have to, yeah, and you have to incubate quail because they are not good mamas. Oh my goodness. They're not good mamas. Wow. Anyway, this is how Nate and I, now you, yeah, this is Nate and I going off on a tangent. This is how we Having do. a discussion. This is what we do. This is how we do it. Man, I'm on story 28 of your series. I bet you feel good for letting your side out. Happy you did it. Yeah. Yep. It's it's much it's much better um, being on this side of it than on the other side of it. Because now I can be more genuine on making videos. Like, what pitfalls should you avoid when homesteading? Don't go homestead with your family unless you have written contracts drawn up by an attorney. So, you know, I can give real good advice about it. See, now they say guinea pigs are awesome dog food. They probably are. They probably are. That's not rabbits, that's guinea pigs. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> rabbits are really lean. Yes, absolutely. Yes, you would have to add fat to a rabbit diet. Yeah, I, I just know they're super lean. Rabbit starvation is literally a, a thing. Even these big fat Flemish giant thingies? Mm-hmm. Hers aren't Flemish giants, so they're the smaller... They're one size smaller than that, aren't they? Or were they? I have no idea. I don't think they were Flemish Giants. Because those things are like this. Yeah. Because I have a friend. You know, somebody huge. in Wisconsin who had Flemish Giants. You're not answering any questions. Well, that wasn't a question. Can you turn off slow mode? Uh, 
We no, can't see the questions as it is. Because we're still not keeping up with everything that's going. Do you not live in the woods? I do live in the woods. All right, all right, all right. What's your biggest buck? He doesn't gain, he doesn't, he's not a sport hunter, so he wouldn't Honestly, probably... every single deer I've taken has been a doe. I haven't taken a buck. Well, there you go. <laughs> no, we don't eat rabbit. I'm just for the meat, guys, and I don't care if it has horns on its head or not. Yeah, these aren't Flemish giants. I have a friend who has the Flemish giants, and they're humongous. These, but these are the large, they're a large rabbit. I just don't remember what they are. All right, do you bow hunt? Why not document your hunting as part of the homesteading process? People would love to see it, and it's a part of providing food. So most, my primary platform is TikTok with like three times as many people following that as here, and they don't like hunting, they don't like animal processing, and YouTube can be finicky about it. And filming and editing those videos while actually doing all that is exceedingly difficult and unable to be posted where I have the biggest audience. So for those reasons, I have mostly shied away from that sort of content. Um, but I totally get the question. Coffee trucker. Me and my fiance are going off grid soon. Mom passed away and I can't do over the road trucking anymore. I am moving on in my life and being off grid has been a dream of ours forever. Massive respect to you both. I've learned a lot. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, very cool. Very Good luck cool. To you. Thank you for the super chat. Nate, your anxiety. I'm anxiety? Like, I'm literally anxiety? I hope not. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. I could just walk around and be like, and then somebody would have anxiety and be like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I could be a good supervillain then. So when, so when I'm just like, uh, I, need I need my anxiety to go uh, away. <laughs> Stop, I'm trying to do my evil laugh. You keep interrupting. <laughs> I really don't know what they meant by that. Like I don't either. Because everybody else is like, your voice is so calming. <laughs> uh, oh, that's funny. Do you guys like eating duck? I love eating duck. It's been a while. I probably would have had some last year, except for, like, they're all females, and they're way smaller and better for eggs and growing the flock. So I just, there was no reason to process. Hopefully this year we'll end up with some drakes. Hopefully. I don't know how you ended up all those females. That's crazy. Nate's evil laugh is top tier super villain. Thank you. Thank you. I, I agree. It sounded like mad scientist Nate was like trying to break through your... That's possible. Something like that. I don't know if mad scientist Nate is a evil super villain or not. I don't know. If he makes a return, maybe we can ask him. Please shout me out. <laughs> Some snow geese and blue bellies. What's a blue belly? Must be some kind of bird. Possibly. I'm not even sure I know. I am anxiety man. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. It's a different person. <laughs> I am anxiety man. That's funny. Um, you have great content. That is all. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Somebody said something I was going to respond to, but it's gone now. Mm-hmm. Wife is beautiful. Thank you. Uh, Why was that funny? Why was what funny? You said thank you. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably still lingering with a. You don't trust us. Lab. That's okay, Lorenzo. We don't trust you either. <laughs> right. Have you played with 3D printing on the homestead? I have. I have a 3D printer and I just straight up ran out of time to really use it, but I still have it. If we find, like if I found something was like, oh, that would be totally cool, we could 3D print that, I would try to set that thing up and get it going. Um, but I haven't had found any reason to waste time to try mm -hmm. to set it up yet when there's other things that we need to do. Have you done any videos about the deep details of your solar panel setup? I kind of get the idea, but I'm gonna need a guide. I hear you. Um, I haven't really stop that question right there i haven't come on thing i haven't really um done a real deep guide um every time i go in depth on something like the video tanks super hard and it never gets pushed out and then people keep asking because i never find it being said i'm probably going to 
try again, particularly with solar. I'm pretty sure if everything works out according to plan, like my solar electronics are inside a shed wrapped in like plastic, like, and I say shed, that's generous. Like it's, it's a hole in the ground with like stuff that hopefully doesn't fall down. Like it's not that bad, but basically long story short, I'm planning to move all the systems and reconnect everything and set it up better more permanently. And when I do that will be a great time to shoot video and content on, on it all. So that is my plan. I'm just not, not there yet. Okay. Hold on a second. So, so they're talking in the chat here and I'm just catching and Addison said something about a higher temperature produces more females in fish. I think they said that's in fish. Mm -hmm. Could that be the same thing with the birds? I feel like if it was, I would have heard of it. Oh, okay. Um, particularly because it's usually like 50 50 or 40 60 or something like no matter what time of year no matter where like it's not like there's mostly male ducks up north and mostly female ducks down south okay. like i feel okay. like i think i think i don't know if i've ever heard of anybody having like one male and like 20 females like that's a crazy ratio it's nuts yeah it's totally nuts. i mean we did lose like a couple ducks here or there and who knows what they were because they were so little at that time. Yeah, like, when you they don't were know that what young. they were. But yeah, it is strange that I mean I didn't lose like fifty percent of them or anything. So No, like, no. And the chances of only losing males would have had to have been weird. But... Not that that couldn't have happened, but Yeah. Hmm. YouTube removed you from my algorithm. I searched you today. So now the homestead is back. Woohoo. All awesome. right. Gotta get Minion 3D scan for prints. Yeah, that would be cool. I'd love to see a video on the circuitry of the solar system. I'm trying to learn more about this stuff. I found you teach that stuff really well. Well, awesome. Yeah, I, I do plan to do to do more um to do more on that when I'm putting all that stuff together. Nate King of Redbeard Homesteaders, thanks for all your content. You're welcome. You're going to propose. No. What was the last movie you watched? So we got in, I don't remember what the last movie we watched either. was. It was a few days ago, but mm -hmm. we've gotten into watching the Stranger Things series. Nate had seen the first series. I couldn't get into it. Or, yeah, you saw the first season. And she was telling season, me she couldn't get into it. And I and couldn't I was get like, into what? it. How could you not get into that? It seems and like I think something... it's just because I tried to watch it alone one night, and I just, like, sat down, turned it on, and I was, I don't know, nothing about the first episode was enough to make me say, oh, yeah, I want to yeah. really keep watching this. Yep. But I watched it with Nate, and, yeah, like, we just started season three. We got yeah. totally hooked on the... We did. Stranger Things. And I got totally hooked on it, and then, like, there were no more seasons, so I got mad and didn't watch it again, and now apparently there's, like, four seasons instead of one. Which yep, and cool. another one coming. Uh-huh. So I'm going to get we mad read, again. But we don't know when, but, yeah. <laughs> I probably won't. We've watched, a we've watched some really good movies. We've watched some that, like, totally had us blown at the end, and we've watched some that we were like, um... Yep. I think we just wasted two hours of our time. Yeah. <laughs> but I you know. Promise studies have been done on higher temps causing higher probability of female poultry. That's possible. Is that the same guy that was in your comments? I have no why idea. Why is 4 plus 4 equal 12? Oh, why does 4 plus 4 equal 12? That was in your comments and you didn't answer it because you didn't have an answer when you were reading your comments. They oh. asked that. They asked why does, that. Why is, actually, it was why... It was, is 4 plus 6 equal 12? That's what they said in the yeah. comment. Well, 4 plus 4 equals 12 for the same reasons that 4 times 12 equals... Or 4 times 4 equals 12. That's a good answer. <laughs> Jen looked at me like I was nuts for a second. No, I was just trying to make sure you really knew what it was you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wait a second, does he realize? Does, and then... does he really think that 4 times 4 equals 12? <laughs> I wasn't yes, sure for a yes, second. I do. Yes, I didn't see I the do. fingers come out, and you didn't have a mathing face, so I wasn't sure. I didn't have a mathing face.
face. Mm-mm. <sighs> that was some fa fast mathing on your part. Yes, just like the content. <laughs> awesome. Somebody said four times four is 16. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Uh, why did your sister turn on you? If I had the answer to that, I would have told you guys in the series. All I can guess is money. She got out with, uh, yeah, a really nice... Really nice check. She got out with a higher net worth than I did out of the whole scenario. Um, the one who hadn't had a job. Right? Never, uh, never lived any place where she had to pay rent or own property or... Yep. Free check from the guy who passed away before and free check from her brother. For sure. And free living at all these people's places. Yeah, it's yeah. kind of goofy. Never do business with family, guys. And not because your family is good, bad, or otherwise, because you literally have a mental block on judging your family members. Reality is not true. Yep. When you're thinking of family, yep. Your, your logic is compromised anytime you're trying to think of your family. It just is. I appreciate that, you're, that you all read comments. We try, we try. Every once in a while, I'll read a comment and somebody says, I wrote like 10 comments and you never responded. And that's, I'm like, well, I'm sorry. That's this is the one I saw. Yeah. You. <coughs> the perfect radio voice. Well, thanks. I have the perfect face for radio too. You do? <laughs> yep, definitely. Oh, man. Yes, Love from the UK. You should yeah. cut your beard. How young are you? I am 38. You co-host with me. Co-host with me. Yes, you co-host. Sit. Sit. Yep, I had two cousins Bring. that tried to outbid us in a contract no. after us providing for them for years. Yeah, for sure. Come on. <laughs> Any advice on grief, Nate? Um, Takes forever. Takes forever. I always tell everybody in two years something changes. It's not going to totally be over, but two years mentally makes a difference. At least for me, it is. Every time. Skate Insanity. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you. You have problems with raccoons and chickens. Well, I don't have problems with raccoons now that I have ads and now that I no longer have chickens and only have ducks, I have no problems with chickens either. <laughs> when did you have chickens out here? Real early on, my ex-wife wanted chickens That must have been before really you even went on social media. I don't ever remember seeing chickens. They were they were on there, but it was it was early days, like pre two hundred thousand followers on on TikTok. Yeah, I don't remember chickens. Um, it was tough because like they were young and it was cold and I had to like, I didn't have my current solar power system. You're trying to keep them warm. Yeah, it was a whole thing. It was a whole thing. Difference between ducks and chickens. Ducks have bills, chickens have beaks. <clears throat> chickens dig in the dirt, ducks don't. They do when it is really soft and muddy out there they will dig for worms and stuff and it will cause tiny it's, little holes yeah but that's really just for a little only, period and only you can in fill them in super easy. saturated soil too yeah it, it doesn't happen often no. or in very many places and i don't think if i just had chickens Muscovies, are noisy they would have it was khaki that caught them oh and really they, started, they all started really at them. that's crazy yep. um Chickens are noisy. Like, we can hear the neighbor's chickens and the neighbor's rooster. Yeah. But these Muscovies don't make noise. Very, very little noise. And usually when they're just upset or chatty about something. Yeah. They make more noise drinking water out of their dishes than they, they do, do walking around. And they're super hardy. I've never they're had one chill. get egg bound. Never had one with Bumblefoot, despite the, all the craziness they walk over. No. They. What's, what happens on their butt? They get sticky butt. Yeah, yeah. Oh, what do they call it? Pasty butt Pasty or something? Pasty butt, yeah. Nope. Never had that. Never had that. Like, I've just had almost no issues, and... Yeah. 
they're, they're just very hardy and they get all their own food except for in the winter time and like we said they the moms are really good at momming like mm -hmm. they do the broody thing really good they take care of those babies i mean in florida they're actually considered an invasive, invasive species yeah. Where in the world are chickens considered an invasive species? Nowhere, because they all get slaughtered by something because they're dumb and require constant care human care. Yeah. Um, that's probably not totally true. There's probably <laughs> like wild varieties of... Somebody says I had that one time after eating chicken, chili. But... <laughs> Pasty butt. That's funny. It's a really? real thing. It really was. Nope. She's not a poodle. She's an American Cocker Spaniel. She's got really curly hair on top. But yeah, she's my dog. Where do Muscovies originally come from, if not Mallards? Honestly, I don't know. I just know they're not derived from Mallards. I'm not sure what they're derived from. So I had somebody one time argue with me in a comment and tell me those Muscovies aren't ducks. That's Muscovies very common. Muscovies aren't ducks. It's a very and why? Common what is it that makes them not... Because they don't hang out in the water like normal ducks do? It's just an internet or... rumor. People say they're like technically like a form of geese or something. But they're okay. ducks. Yeah, I had somebody try to argue with me that that's they are not ducks. a duck. They're just not and I'm like, it sure ducks. looks like a duck to me. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, I guess if you really wanted to get picky, you could probably classify them as, as their own bird if you wanted to, but it makes no sense. Like, just call them Muscovy ducks. Like, other ducks, but at the end of the day, they're not a fish. They're not a cat. So they're a duck. Dogs that don't bark are still dogs. Right. Yeah, I never understood that. Yeah. Can Muscovies be bred with geese? No. I don't think... I don't think they can be bred with other ducks either, more than, like, once. Because I, I think the babies of everything that, you know, if they're crossbred, like, become infertile. So, like, yeah, they can be once. But I could be wrong sure. on that, but I'm pretty sure. Because they said that same thing because we wondered about khaki. Like, what happens if... Yeah. The Muscovy gets on khaki, yep. and but we haven't noticed that. No. And her eggs look different, so I never put her eggs oh, in Oh, you can nest. tell? You can tell a difference? Mm hmm Are they different color or shape or size or? Just slightly smaller, slightly different color, and I can, so far, I've just been able to single out the eggs. I'm like, that's not. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I couldn't at first, but as time has gone on. Sure. You ever planning to get a new cat or two? Yes, I'm planning to get two new ones. <coughs> Holy moly, you're live. Love your content. Well, awesome. Welcome. How long are you going to be live for? Not much longer. I've been live for nearly two hours now. I usually like to do like an hour or two. If it, it almost... walks like a duck, walk, quacks like a duck, and looks like a duck, <laughs> it's a duck. I think it's a duck. Hi, ah, that's true. They're, They're not a duck. duck. They are a duck. They are a duck. Or a Muscovy duck. <laughs> uh. We did not find Saber. Today is his birthday, though. I told it him, is. come home. We have treats for you. Yep. And he, he didn't been come too. home. Nate, for a long time you didn't have a lip for your sing. What made you decide to get one? Well, part of the reason was 20 years of wanting one and never getting one. And then... He played around with one one day, and I was like, oh, I kind of like that. And he's like, oh. Really? I was like, all right, then. That's all the push I needed. Because I wanted one. It. So then I will do it, then, if you're okay with it. I was like, I, I dig it. Nope. I mean, if she'd have said, like, lip piercing, that's, that doesn't look good on you, I'd, I probably still wouldn't have one. I'd still want one, though. I just wouldn't have one. Yeah. He didn't even flinch, either. She's like, Yeah. I didn't flinch when I stuck the needle in he my abscess it. tooth either. I just shook a little bit and closed my eyes. <laughs> you didn't even do that. Mm -mm. No? I think the look on your face was more like, do I really have a hole in my lip? Like, <laughs> like did this really just happen than anything right. else? Yep. Yeah. And she got it in there and he was good to go. Mm-hmm. Yep, it was simple. We're planning on getting a new cat or two. I already read that. And yes, I'll answer it again. Reading the wrong chat. <laughs> Saber and I are birthday buddies almost. It's such an honor. <laughs> yes, cool. she has a squishy birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday tomorrow to Squish. Happy birthday. Moderator in the chat. Happy birthday. 
Can you train Minion to ride as like a majestic steed? That would be really cool. It'd be kind of neat. I'm gonna have to wait for Az to be like two years old, I think, to like even be calm enough and to have enough other types of training on him before I like go that far with him. He and still has very much of a mind of his own. He does. <laughs> and he's he always will too. But like I still think I just have to work with him a bunch. And I have to work with Minion a bunch, because him being on top of other animals, like I've tried to put him on like other dogs, just like balance on here. You can balance on a ball, you can balance sure. on another dog. And he's like, absolutely not get me off of here. Like he just nope, nope, nope. So if he had a little saddle that sat on there and a box that was on yeah. top of that saddle, he would much sit in I'm that thinking. box. That's pretty much like what they I'm do thinking. with the elephants, like in a circus. They have yeah. a saddle that has like a box. Mm -hmm. And he would sit in that. Yep. That he would totally do. That he would. And I gotta wait for Az to quit growing till I invest money in some so kind of So Az is tall thing. enough right now that when I'm brushing him on the ground and I'm like straddled over him, yep. if he stands up, he will take me off the ground. At least one foot. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. I have no doubts. Yep. He's tall. I can't stand flat footed over him anymore. He's tall. Mm hmm. Big boy. Mm hmm. Yep. Yep. He's a big fella. <laughs> I'm confused. Is this live? Yes, yes, it is. Let's see. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> see if we were live, but you were delayed. Good. <laughs> I'll teach you. <laughs> All right, now that we've gotten that Sarah straightened out, <laughs> it's time to pet Lord Minion. He's sleepy. Thank you for your most genuine and honest live I've ever seen. This was heartwarming. Well, you're welcome. It's awesome. <laughs> it's because we're just us. What's your live goals? Life goals. Live. <laughs> What's your life goals? Build homestead. Live Happy. here peacefully. Teach other people how to do cool stuff. Quality help other life. people in some ways. Peacefulness. Peaceful life is quality of life. Can you do a cartwheel? I don't know if I've ever tried. Even one time in my life. Really? So no backflips? No. Front handspring? I don't even know what that is. I build, um, I build stuff. I don't do gymnastics. Do I definitely don't know what that is. I can do push-ups. He can do pull-ups. He does them on the outdoor kitchen sometimes. I do. I get out of shape every winter because I don't do it. <laughs> You'd be making coffee and go over and... <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Yep, I remember that. <laughs> I do that. his beard would trip him too. <laughs> oh man. Can Minion do a cartwheel? Minion can do a cartwheel in the air without touching the ground. I so bad. I wish I had captured that on film. Did you throw him in the air? No, he threw himself in the air. Why? We were in a duck coop and you know those like aluminum things? Like sometimes I stand them on edge and they've got like bars. Yep. And so, like, I was telling him to do something, pick up something, carry something, go somewhere, and he mistook whatever I was instructing him to do. And he tried to get as that. jump up on. And so, being the trusting little doggy he is, he jumps up. Thinking he's going to stay on and, it. And he puts his legs out and realizes there's nowhere to land because it's just bars spaced, yeah. like, this far apart. Like, further, I can't The chickens, you. or the ducks roost on it. Yeah. And so he catches it. Catches the front bar with his front feet, and his butt and underside just swings underneath the whole thing. Oh, and he did a flip. Him, <laughs> flips him around. around. <laughs> and, and he like, He's like on the high bars. Woo! Yeah. Woo. <laughs> he he kind of like landed all funny and, and got up and was like licking his lips all stressed. He's like, like don't tell me what to do. I'm not listening to you yet. And then did he listen to your next command, or was he like, I'm out? I have no idea. Because he does get that way. The ground laughing. Because he does get that way with Nate. Sometimes Nate he will does. try to give him a command. And the other night, Nate was trying to get him to do something. And finally he told him, then go in your area. And he didn't. So Nate put him in his area. And Minion looked at Nate and he was like, ah, whoa, 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 whoa. He, did. he, <laughs> he did. told him exactly what he thought about it. And then he laid down and was quiet. It was so yep. funny. Oh, my gosh. That was hysterical. 
Yeah, yeah he, he was telling you, I said, he's having no part of you right now. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and then sometimes he gets this, like, spicy, sassy little attitude going. Oh, he does. He does. Yeah, it's funny. He'll listen, but you can tell he does not want to. Mm -hmm. And it's not on first command. <laughs> yep. He is funny. Are your solar panels polycrystalline or monocrystalline? Did I say those right? Yes, you did. I don't know because I don't remember which one is which anymore in my mind. Poly would be multiple and mono would be one. Yes. So that doesn't help you make sense? No. Of it? Oh. Sorry, I tried. It's like a totally basic question that anybody that, that ever did anything with form. solar would know. <laughs> I realized it was like, I just, I don't know. I just get confused between which ones is which and then which ones I have. <coughs> I bought used panels. So what would you do with the feathers of meat birds if we were to cull them? Do you just let the feathers out in the woods? I don't know. What do the neighbors do with their feathers when they cull the rooster? Well, they probably just leave them out like uh let the cats play with them or whatever mm-hmm yeah no or if you were in town or like just out in the country not necessarily out in the woods like this it might be different but right yeah how expensive was it to get your homestead started well to start you bought the camper i did which was and then the cheap satellite system or the satellite the solar system Yo. And then all the stuff for your rainwater. Yeah. And that got you started. Yo. And then from there you just expanded. I did. I did. Yeah, like I, other than the land purchase, everything else was like fairly cheap. Like, yeah. We got more super chats. Pause, Colorado. Hope you guys are well. Percent. Parentage DNA kit should have arrived. Let's chat soon. Happy Sunday. FYI, gonna need some more coffee soon. Oh, that's awesome. Everybody in the chat, check out Boz Colorado if you would. They, they've got awesome Boz Shepherd dogs available sometimes. And yes, I do have the parenting DNA kit. Oh my gosh. Kit. He opened it up and all I saw was proof of parentage on there. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I said, did that? I asked him, I questioned him what it said, and he said, yeah, he said, yeah, it's for as, and I kind of chuckled, I was like, oh my god, with everything going on, I thought maybe you were getting a notice of some sort, he's like, yeah, I thought for a second, too, he's like, but it's not possible. <laughs> yep, that, that, that's all I could think of, was, I was like, dead. proof of parentage, and I'm like, there's just nobody, there's, there's, no, <laughs> there, there, it's, it's like not possible. It was so like, funny. Yeah, I was dumbfounded. Yeah. That was hysterical. Uh -huh. I'm like, wait a second, how does this happen? Right. <laughs> Question, do you like raising ducks or? Oh, we've gone through this. Ducks, 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 ducks. Nate's, Nate doesn't care for chickens. Yep, a bone vermilion. Thank you, appreciate that. Man's? Bone vermilion. He's so zonked out, he doesn't even know. Charlotte's gonna go lay next to him. You can go in there. You can go in the area. Area. Stomp on him. Area. It's area. funny. We have taught Charlo uh -huh. that area means to go in her spot and lay down. And so now, <laughs> Minion was, I don't know, he was acting up earlier and Nate was telling him area and he wasn't listening and he said, go to your area. And Charlo got up and walked right in there. Boom. He sure did. <laughs> and I didn't say a name before I said that. No, nope, so like... just in she went. Yep. Up she got. And it's like when went. I'm outside and I keep telling Minion to come and Az comes running from somewhere. It's yep. like, when are you going to learn that your name is not Minion? <laughs> well, Because I do use when his he... name. See, and I don't. If I go out and he's the only, well, when I first go out there, I'll say, Az, come. But if he's just out there, if I'm just out there mingling with just him, I just tell him, come. He knows I'm talking to him. Yeah, he does. But I don't think to I'd, ra I'd rather him make a, a mistake. Yeah, of coming, of coming all the time than all the time not at all, for sure. Just assuming or being confused that it doesn't apply to him. For sure. Yep. You have a cocker too. That's awesome. 
Googly eye on a slider. There used to be googly eyes on a sliding door. There used to be. All right. Definitely used to be. Dory. Dory. It was Dory. <laughs> Her name was Dory. Does my dog do tricks? No. <laughs> no. Nope. From Wisconsin. Been thinking about going off grid. I like the way you put it out there. It gave me some good ideas and confidence. That's awesome. Can you guys please say hi, Harmony? I can't stop laughing. I love you guys. You're so funny. <laughs> Hello. Oh, man. Oh, this is constantly after church for me. And Coffee Trucker says, you all neighbor Trosky is tired. Let him sleep. I am tired. Uh, he is. It's been a long, it's been a long day. Bunch of extra. Has Has had to lay down Minion's Law with any unruly animals yet? He found a mouse one night. He did. Other than that, like, he keeps everything from roaming over here so far. <laughs> Sooner or later, something's going to come roam over here. And, like... But, yeah, like, Nate said he hasn't seen any raccoons, any possums. So we've had possum up on the deck, like... And yeah. he's seen raccoons. He took... Had to chase raccoons off last year. But we haven't seen them. No the coyotes stonks. we hear howl aren't near as close as they used to be. No, they stay back. Yep. So, yeah. No, no chickens, just ducks. No pigs either. Possibly cows. Cows would probably be the most livestock, like large livestock animal you would see, would be cows. Mm -hmm. I've been watching you for a while. I just broke up with. The girlfriend and moved back in with my mom. Any advice? I am. Focus on you. Yeah. Focus on focus on you and whatever went wrong in the relationship. Don't worry about what she did wrong. Just worry about what you did wrong. Own you did what something you did wrong, wrong, though. Own what you did and wrong. Then, you have to. And then learn from it and apply it to the next relationship. Because it doesn't matter if she did all kinds of stuff wrong. You're not worried about making her a better person. You're worried about making you a better person. Other animals can smell as male urine. That's exactly right. I'm sure. They also hear him and feel his bark vibrating in their lungs, and then they turn around and leave because his bark is way so too people, loud. <laughs> people ask about Nate training as... <laughs> Not to get too personal, but one of the things that Nate did with Az when he first got him was at night when they would go out and patrol, or Az would be barking and they would go look looking to see what it was, Nate and Az would then mark the territory. And it mm -hmm. taught Az that when he was hearing something and he would run off after it to mark his territory before he came back towards the house. And he totally does. I will go out in the middle of the night and he yep. will, he goes out and makes his noises and grunts and whatever. And then he always <laughs> marks his territory and comes back towards the house before I go back in. Um, and I think that's totally a learned thing. Yep. It's, I mean, it is in there in the genetics. I just woke up those genetics really early and reinforced them real strongly. Right? <laughs> yep. It's funny to watch Minion do it because for him it's a learn it's a genetic behavior. But he'll chase birds, and then when he's done chasing the bird and thinks he ran it off, he'll pee. It's funny. It's just funny because yeah, the bird that, that it doesn't dog pees care. when he doesn't have anything in him. He does. He does. He's a very. I've never seen a dog lift their leg he's empty a very, so often. He's a very dominant dog, and that's that's. <laughs> he'll run around outside for ten minutes. I'll be like, "Let's go in the house," and we. As he's running in the house, he's got to stop and lift his leg on something, and there ain't nothing, and nothing, nothing comes out. No. Nope. I'm like, dude, you're dry. And yep. then we come in, and he immediately wants a drink, like he, he knows. Does. Yep, fill me back dry. up. Most <laughs> creatures drink to be hydrated. Minion drinks when he feels like his bladder is too empty. <laughs> he doesn't care about it's the crazy. hydration. He, yeah. just, he just needs to fill that bladder up. You tell him, go outside and go, go potty? He, he wants to. He gets all excited, but he wants to get a drink first. Mm -hmm. Make sure he's got something to, sure to mark with. Everything. He's so funny that way. It's like, dude, it's going to take I didn't know a half he would hour even know to work that. through. Yep. Nope. Yep. He does. It's... He's pug dachshund and a little bit of chihuahua. Yep. Oh my gosh. Jen is such a catch. Definitely. Definitely. She did get a little mad when I had like the hook in her mouth, though. 
but I haven't been fishing since. <laughs> I think I made the catch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, I do have the hook still stuck. <laughs> hook, line, and sinker, baby. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. A catch that looks like Charlo. If I look like Charlo, I am doing good. <laughs> I am doing good. She's darling. Mm -hmm. If you look like Charlo, we're going to have issues. <laughs> Oh, no, he's, he's been saying I look like Charlo, and now a catch that looks like Charlo, he definitely thinks I look like Charlo. All right. Love it you must all. be the long, floppy ears. <laughs> Could be. Uh, uh, Love all you do. You're amazing with your animals. So thank you. Appreciate the super chat. Oh, it was a compliment, and you look like Minion. Well, thank you. We favor each other. Uh, well, thank you. We were like that is kind. not live for part of that, but I'm sure somebody caught part of it. Of what? <laughs> anyway, we're back reconnected. I don't know what my phone is doing, but I missed some super oh. chats. Hello, Jan and Nate. Love from India. Appreciate it. Do you ever consider a donkey for livestock protection? Not even once. Nope. I, I want a dog. I want a predator to be my. We only need one jackass on the homestead. <laughs> That's right. Yes, I hesitated saying that because he knows I would never ever say anything like that, but that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. <laughs> I mean, that's not funny. <laughs> but he's my jackass. <laughs> All right. I love you. <laughs> I love you, too. I can't even pick on him without apologizing. No, she really can't. <laughs> she she can't say something funny that's insulting to me and not say sorry. Like I'm like it's well, fine. Well, I have to make it's sure you aren't going to get offended. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. When have you ever called me a name and I got offended by it? I don't really call you names. Oh. You just called me a jackass. <laughs> that, that time I did. Yep. You did. And I apologized in case you get offended. You did. But I'm glad everyone else thinks this funny too. They do. I'll yell at you later. <laughs> I'll be I'll be sure to do a behind the scenes video. <laughs> yeah, you do that. You do that. Okay. <sighs> oh, this dude's a loser. All right. You're not a loser. I'm a loser. I'm a loser, baby. <laughs> so I don't you kill me. <laughs> there ain't nothing wrong with being a loser. Probably not. I bet that guy is not cool enough to be a loser. He might not be. Love your videos and all your animals. Well, thank you. Ain't so happy. I am happy. You can even call me a loser on a live, and I'm just like, okay, cool. Yeah, me. Well, yeah, because anybody who thinks you're a loser, I mean, what do we care about the person who thinks you're a loser? We obviously know what kind of person they are. Yeah. They obviously well, don't know nothing. I was just trying to go to, like, Loser means you're like losing at something, and I, I mean, some like I'll be lose. I lose at stuff somewhat regularly in life, but right now I'm winning in just about every area of life. Yeah, right. I'm not yeah. a loser at all right now. They don't watch your videos. Come back in like a year or two when like a tree falls on one of my sheds or something, and then I'm a loser because in you regards can't fix to that it? shed. Well, I would fix it, but oh, then you took a loss. I took Which the word literally. Loser. Like loser would mean like yep, somebody I'm who loses it. things. I'm just like totally lost. Oh, he loses stuff. shit all the time. He's a loser. <laughs> Actually, you're yeah. right. You're right. I went to town the other day without my wallet. I'm a loser. loser. I'm a loser. Where's Minion's collar? I don't know you, loser. Right? I still don't know. <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay. I'm a loser then. Uh, I'm a loser of all the things. Right. Ugh. All the hate brings in the money. Look at Ariana Grande, for God's sake, right? No kidding. Uh, hat. How do we get a hat? Depends what kind of hat you want. If you want a hat that's really similar to this one, narrowwayhomestead.com. How much mood is on the property right now? I don't know what that means. Mud? Mood? Not sure. And Sam, wow, I've only ever seen him in the shorts. He has come alive. I have. I have. <laughs> you considered going on the show naked and afraid? No, not really. It does not sound like a fun time. <laughs> <laughs> he 
He's not a survivalist that way. No. I mean, it might be fun to try sometime, but I think I'd do better than some people would expect. They'd be like, oh, how are you going to survive out here without your fancy solar panels and without this and without that? It's like, I don't know. I guess I'll find out. Yeah. What I'm, do I miss? Are you sure. done? Yes. I okay, am. I just didn't want to talk over you if you still had more to say. Somebody no. asked what I miss most about Kenosha. Okay. As in, say, about three people. All right. That's about it. Makes a little sense. bit of quick trip. I could miss quick trip. Yeah, I miss quick trip. I mean, I never lived there, but when I go there, well, I, I like to go to quick trip. Yeah. I haven't specifically been like, oh, I need a quick trip this or that, but right. it'd be cool to go into a quick trip. It would. It would. Mm -hmm. Absolutely would. Any bourbon products coming soon? Mm, I don't think so. No. If you ever bathe as, I will in the warmer seasons which we're getting there oh somebody just finished your series very cool very cool that's awesome would you recommend a single woman start up her own homestead by herself i mean just know your capabilities and don't take on too much but like whether you're a woman or Does a guy you like you can do you know what you can do and you know what you can't do um as long as you don't yeah, exceed your limitations, you'll be fine. I work for Crick Trip and grew up in Kenosha. You don't miss the bread. I miss the bread most of all. <laughs> the bread. Well, I could. So there's lots of things um, there that I do miss. Like, but it's not, I don't think things that I haven't been happy replacing, I guess. The convenience of Quick Trip and all the stuff that you can get and do in one lo in one spot is totally missed. That's for sure. All right, Matthew. Thank you for joining Lord Minions Minions. Minion appreciates it. So let me ask, what's your what's your dream animal to raise out here? Did you talked to somebody on a live about that the other day? You didn't have one, did you? No, but I mean, I we're possibly interested maybe in the emus emu again or something. But I mean, I ta right. also talked about um, like a cougar okay. or like a mountain lion. Yes, 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 you did. But you like did. it's just I was going to say, even if it wasn't something that was out here, but yeah, it's a wild cat of sorts. Yeah, a wild cat. Like, yeah. How about a little bobcat? I, I could do a bobcat, <clears throat> but I'm not going to do it while I have ducks because like. Oh, you'll never ever train that out of them, no. That would be, I, you would have to be very careful. Oh, even the people, people I watch on TikTok that have bobcats that are still domestic, you know, yeah. somewhat domesticated, say there's some things about them that are just and that's, wild. That's, I would enjoy the challenge. I don't know if I actually could or not, but if put in that situation, I would try my hardest. I might, I mean, I would lose ducks for a while, probably. I don't know if I would actually be able to do it or not, but. Yeah, I don't know if it could be loose. It'd be kind of fun to try to chain a coyote too. That would be kind of interesting. They're they're the same thing. Like it, they've just especially got, if you could keep them. They've got them genetics other ones away. so deep in there. That would be really hard to. Train It'd be out cool of. if you same could train a coyote cats, to keep other coyotes with... away. Yeah, I don't know if I could though. No, I don't know either. <laughs> Yeah, that's Charlo. She scratches and then she's like, thunk, 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 thunk. <laughs> right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Scare you. Jump scare. Eight response. Mean the world. To me, I'm in a pickle. I need to know Camaro. 1SS or 5.0. I don't know. I'm more about a about trucks <laughs> I, I wish I wish I could give you a good answer and plans to make pet accessories in the future that's entirely possible any new narrowway products in the works there definitely are narrowway products in the works we're <laughs> gonna release something here shortly yeah I think actually, I think I've got two things to release one thing people will be I think fairly excited about yeah I do too Yep. 
We're we're not far from it. We're did not you guys far see? From it. Did everybody see the minion car diffuser? It's super nice. It is. This one's got oil in it, so the top is already darker, but he's got a little minion on it with his hat. Let me see here. If I can get it to. Thank you. That's pretty show close. Good. What do you think? This thing's like an ounce or a half ounce or something. I don't think it's anywhere near an ounce. Ooh, it's, yeah. it's off-grid evening and it's amazing. <laughs> but you fill your little thing and then when you hold this upside down, the oil starts to distribute through it. So we held it upside down for like 30 seconds or something to let it fill. And then just as it's been sitting here, it's been distributing it through the, through the top. But it smells okay. so good. I'll come sit at my desk and I'm like, ooh, off-grid evening. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mm. I really vets, could just huff this stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> Any vets in Parkersburg you recommend? What was it Parkersburg Veterinary Hospital? Yes. We've been there a couple times. Great people, very been nice. Been happy both times. They're mm -hmm. not a, they're probably not the cheapest vet around, but you get what you pay for, right? Yeah. It's. Minion Treat Fund. Thank you. A nice clean vet. Mm -hmm. I've been to so many vets. Oh, I have too. And, uh, yeah. I've, yeah. It was comfortable. People were nice. It was clean. Yep. I got one. The little mini picture on it is cute. It is. It is. God forbid you and Jen broke up. Where would Jen go if you did? Would she be homeless? Would you let me be homeless, Nate? No. No. Even, even like, even if we broke up, like, she'd be fine. Like, she works for me. She gets her own paycheck. She's not, like, been, I mean, I would imagine she'd get another job. I was going to say, I don't, I can't imagine. But, like, it's it's not like she's, like, been here, had zero income, and owns nothing. Right. Like, yeah. She'd be okay. But she better not break up with me. I would me. survive. I'm not breaking up. I think he meant if you broke up with me. Oh. Well, I'm not breaking up. Well, then I don't even know where that question came from, because I'm not breaking up with you. I'm not sure either. You stuck with me. Yep. Stuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> even if that means he has to sleep in the other camper. He stuck with me. <laughs> I would not go sleep in the other camper. Okay, good. Go sleep in the other doghouse with Az first. No, I would do that. No, I would do that. Okay. <laughs> you sleeping with Az. We should, we should close the... Door I should lock you out. And just like, no, I mean the door on as the doghouse. And then like we both just go sleep in there for the night. And then put the live on it and just be like, we're in here. And every once in a while stick an arm out. To oh my there. God, that would be so funny. That'd be funny. We mm -hmm. got to find one it's of those things that allows you to remote control, use your phone remote control so that we could be in there with it closed and then start the live. Right. And then all of a sudden a hand or a foot comes out. Yeah, that would be funny. That would be funny. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love how people come in here and tell you to go to sleep already, but yet they're up They're up too. Right. Well, I'm also sitting here just like yawning constantly. Did you not sleep last night? I did, but... What time did you get up? I don't know. Dawn or something. Hmm. Maybe we need a blackout thing. Maybe you're waking up when the sun comes up too soon. Or they should be letting the ducks out of dawn, though. We need a duck coop. <laughs> right. Thing. But then I also need to make sure Az isn't running off with any eggs. I need to check all those out. Yeah. There's a lot of a lot of morning things to do, especially when don't use it gets your, warm. Don't like lose this. your teeth over us. <laughs> right. We're too sweet. <laughs> oh gosh. Pretty sure I'm losing my teeth over you too. That's funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny. As in plant a garden this year, flowers, veggies, fruits, trees, bushes. You two are adorable, by the way. So I'm really not doing much of any of that. However, if Jen wants to plant flowers, veggies, fruits, trees, bushes, I'm all for it. Like all I do is set piles of trash around. Like flowers would look much better. I'm on it. <laughs> so I, 
I really plan on doing more flowers and things like that once Nate decides, like, once he's got the house going. Because then I can landscape and do flower beds and things like that. I do plan on doing some things. Um, I do want to do some fruit trees, berry bushes, for sure. Um, yeah, it'll all happen. Oh. My uncle owns Manhart's gunsmithing. I'm married to Jen. What? Different Jen? I know Manhart's gunsmithing. Been there a time or two. It's. Oh, yeah, we were cool. talking about them before. We were, we were. Yeah. Yep. Oh, maybe his niece's name is Jen and Might he's be. married I to him or don't something. Don't remember any names other than. I don't he even wouldn't remember. His remember name. Yeah. He, he gets on the phone with somebody and they're talking and then I'll say to him as I'm writing notes, what's their, what was their name? And he's like, yeah. So tell me the company they're associated with. I, yeah. yeah. He doesn't know the name. Nope. I don't know the name of my contact persons. What do you call a bear without teeth? A gummy bear. A gummy bear <laughs> right? Uh. <laughs> How did you two meet? Was it online? It was on TikTok. Pretty wild. Um, yep, we got ADP figured out. No, I'm yep. married to Jen, says Squishy. No. Yep. Discovered you guys while I've been sick, watching all the going places, doing things, and everything else. Great content. Thank awesome. you. Well, you're, you're welcome. you're feeling better. <laughs> For sure. You ever heard of skinwalkers around your area? Yeah, people talk about them, and... but everybody I know that talks about them as soon as it gets dark, closes the door and stays inside all night long. And I'm very often outside in the woods, wherever, all night long. And I feel like if all that stuff existed, then I would have been eaten by now. But. <laughs> What's a skinwalker? I don't know, some mythological, mythical creature supposedly roams Appalachia. Hi from Argentina. Cool. What do you know about septic pumping? Ever explore that route of employment? I know a little bit about it, but I never, never got into any of that. Like I understand the basics of how septic works and and all that. That's where you're wrong. A skinwalker is afraid of ads. That's right. It could be. It could be. As long as they stay away from here. <laughs> They're real, but not around your area. More so national parks, forests. All right. I got a reply from a comment from you. Do I want to chat privately at some point? So most likely, if you got a comment reply, uh, it's probably a scam it account. It probably was a scam account. There's a lot of fake accounts out there impersonating me, and they always say, chat with me on WhatsApp or, or, or something, and it's, it's nonsense. It's not true, yeah. And we've been trying to get most of them taken down. We've actually got a bunch of the Facebook, the large Facebook fake accounts wiped, yep. which was a huge success for us because it took us six months. Yeah. Yep. You guys ever go to Sheets gas stations? I follow them all around as a subcontractor and install suspended ceilings. I've done a few in yep. West Virginia now. Yeah. I've, the one in Ripley we hit what, usually I've, when we're there. I've been going to Sheets gas stations for the longest time. Like when I was a contractor for lunch most of the time, I would have a Sheets sub and I would pay $2.11 and get the six inch sub with no cheese. And it was like a whole sandwich for $2.11. It was such a deal. Kate, it says it was on YouTube. Um, I do respond to people on YouTube. That makes it difficult. Um. <laughs> Basically, if I ever reached out for you to, if either of us reach out and say to contact us, it will be a narrowwayhomestead at gmail.com. Yep, That's the it would only be, way. Yep, it would be from this exact account, and I would say email me at whatever. Yeah, I don't ask people to respond to me in any other way so hopefully that helps <clears throat> all right why don't you like cheese said squishy to probably somebody in the chat <laughs> as is out there barking his head off
Nico, if that's serious, you need to call yourself. Don't put that in the chat. That it's not going to help here. <laughs> right. Holy moly, it's Jen. It's Jen. Do you play with your beard more? Or does she play with her hair more? <laughs> so what kind of conditioner do you both like? I play with my beard more. Or do you play with your hair more? You probably play with your beard more. I might. Because he's doing videos all day, and every day before a video, he does one of these. That's because it's usually like... Yeah, because it's blowing in the wind and all over the place. Get so back he, he does a lot of this. But that's also people ask, How's your beard so straight? Why isn't your beard all over the place? My I'm beard is all it. over the place. Well, it's because he pulls it down all the time. <laughs> Probably him more. Yep. It was Narrow Way. Hold on. It, it was Narrow Way Homestead or at Nate with your last name, just to let you know. Okay. So, yeah, some people still will steal stuff or yeah. well, they steal names and start fake accounts. Likely it was just a fake. Um, what I usually do is click on the person who responded to you, like click on if you think it was him and see if it pulls his correct account up. Yeah. Um, and some people look, work hard to make the account not yeah, kind of so, look like mine. But. Yep. Yep. Hey, I got your hat and I love this thing. The built in headlamp is so useful and the battery is hardly noticeable. Ah, That's awesome. Yeah, I love I love that because, like, yeah, you got the lights, the switches there, and the battery tucked right there. What you looking at? You have no hair. I don't have any hair. What? That's oh, all folded funny. Yeah, I don't have any When hair. were you going to tell me this? I wasn't going to tell you. I was going to keep my hat on for all of eternity and hope you never noticed. <laughs> all right, guys. It's going to be a long night for me. <laughs> <laughs> How do you make an egg roll? You roll it. <laughs> How about it? <laughs> Just something, you, but it's a good night for me, though. Thank you for the super chat. Lisa, you and Morgan would get along well. Morgan has all kinds of funny, quirky jokes like that. <laughs> she cracks me up. Yep. Hello from Wisconsin. We are from West Virginia. Hey, Petrosky, I have worse hair receding than you do. I hear you. <laughs> no, we're not interested in beekeeping. We have neighbors and friends who do the beekeeping thing, so we can always do something else and share. I'll poof it up. There we go. Like, I can't wait till one day I can call down the street and be like, yo, I'll trade you, I'll trade you a, a quart of milk or cream or something for a jar of your honey. And they'll be like, you're on. And then I'll take them some of my fresh berry jam and trade them some of their, I don't know. You can't take them any fresh berry jam until I was eating my share of berries. You hasn't even tried the blackberry jelly that she brought us. It is It's because I like the so berries good. Best. I just be like, mm -hmm. No, I mushed the berries into no, jam. No, 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 let me eat some first. I mush them into jam. You can. I mush them into jam. We can divide the berries and mush you can mush your jam. pile into jam. Mush them into jam. No. If I go down to get berries to be making jam, and I'm like, why are my berry plants empty, Nate? I'll be down there gnawing on it. I can see it. It's going to happen. Nope. Oh. To be fair, whoever picks the berries gets to decide what to do with the berries, because picking berries is a pain in the neck. All right. <laughs> Nothing about Saber. Today is his second birthday, but he did not come home for his cake. Nope, he didn't. We were hoping. We were. I still has high hopes. Y'all flirting. Y'all cute AF. <laughs> we flirt every day. You should flirt every day with your person. You really should. Somehow, some way. You should. Even if it's just for a quick second, like something flirty. You just need to keep keep your person on their toes. They deserve mm -hmm. it. You deserve it. Yo. Yep. Red bud jelly. How do I buy an air freshener with minion picture on it? Well, Jen will tell you while I go refill my bottle at the tap. Go to narrowwayhomestead.com. That's Nate's website, and it's listed under merch. And you can select to buy just the little bottle, or you can get a bottle of oil with it. And 
My favorite is Off Grid Evening. Or if you like, I'm thinking with the car scent, I think the fresh roast coffee, if you like the smell of fresh roast coffee, mm -hmm. I think that would be amazing in your vehicle. I think so. I think it would be really, really nice in your vehicle. It would be a good vehicle scent. That's where you can get that. I smell it in my truck every time I go in after I spill the coffee in it. It'd be much better it to, like coffee. to do it with the I actual coffee. I should clean your truck, hey? It's a little bit Took me a while to work out all the real accounts versus fakes. Thanks from England for keeping me entertained. Oh, you're welcome. And yeah, I have, we we have put a lot of effort to removing the fakes. It's been difficult, but I got a powerful tool against the fakes now, so. He's drinking water. He just keeps putting it in his beer bottle. I refilled it at the tap. We didn't have to tell them what the tap was. Well, they asked, are you drinking water. beer or water? <laughs> oh. Were you gonna lie? No. I didn't realize they were being so specific. Your answer is, he's drinking out of a beer bottle. There you go. There you go. Uh, he does do off-grid videos. It's kind of hard when it's been winter time and we've been in this 300 square foot area and we're not really doing anything outside yet. Um, we're yeah. just getting to the point where it's starting to dry up. We are. Because once it dried up, it got real wet again and it, yeah, it's just hard. Yeah. Seattle in the house, hello. Yep. Why not a Raptor though? Because I wanted a V8 and a V8 Raptor R was like double the price of the TRX. Somebody said something. Jen looks down, why? Don't be worrying about why Jen looks down here. They didn't mean the direction down. Oh. They meant the emotion down. Oh. I probably don't have to answer them now. Probably not. They probably just got their answer. <laughs> they might have. You can answer them now. You crack me up. <laughs> Why do I crack you up? Your expressions. I always look back at the camera, so I'm not like looking at you to see what your expression is, but I just see how you're looking at me. It's funny. It's an advantage when there's a camera. So I can see how you're looking at me when I'm not looking at you and pretending to ignore you. Pretending to ignore me. <laughs> Flirt with your person every day and don't forget to pretend to ignore them. That's right. Don't actually ignore them. That's rude. But We're you doing can pretend great. To We're doing great. Them. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm not down. Mm. I only ask him three times a week. How many times was I supposed to blink for help? Right. What color shirt was I supposed to wear? Red and blink three times. Because when I'm twice. in here and I yell, help, 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 nobody helps. They don't hear me. Minion tries. He definitely helps. He tries. He tries. Yes. Yep. But he's so loud. Oh my gosh. Oh, his little bark. Right? It's yes. It's serious. Yes. If, if Nate comes after me at all, like, ah. Minion is like, rah, 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 rah. Yep. and then Charlotte starts, and it's all crazy. All right, somebody remembers. How is your migraine? Oh, it went. I don't have the um optical optical <laughs> things anymore. <laughs> optical. Optical. I don't have that thing. Ocular migraine. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. yeah. If I stop and think about it, I think I have a little bit of pressure in my head, but like it's not. It's not painful. To the point of like that but Co thank you for asking coffee trucker said i'm off to bed love you both and thank you for your continued videos salute to you both coffee is out and yes i'm purchasing your coffee products awesome, awesome. thank you or perving <laughs> so anybody browsing. else who anybody who doesn't know there's totally a sub subscription off option on Nate's coffee and his beard products. Um, if it's something that you order regularly or plan to order like every 30, 60, whatever days, you can set up a subscription for auto shipments and you have the option to go in and change flavors anytime you want. Um, but you can save, what is it, 10%? Yeah, I believe it's 10%. I think 10%. it's 10% per bag or, or per order when you have, when you're set up on the auto yeah. order. So just a thought. 
I had to do that when I was ordering his coffee before we started dating because, yeah, I needed to save the 10% with as much coffee as I was drinking. This is crazy. My name is Jenny and my partner Zach could give you a run for money in the ginger beard department. We are also homesteading off grid. Weird just randomly came across this video. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny because there was just a Zach in here that said, Jenny is my peas and carrots or something like that. I wonder if it was her boyfriend, Zach, who said that or if it was a different Zach talking about his Jen. That's funny. Yeah. Very cool. Pretty cool. How old am I? I'm 38 years old. What am I drinking? Water. But it's in a beer bottle, so I look cool. Oh, and somebody used to come in here every week, too, and ask me if I tried mama noodles. The mm -hmm. spicy noodles just made me think of that. And I looked up mama noodles, and we cannot get them in store here at our Walmart, but I can order them online. But I had to, or I would have to order a case. Oh, my god. So... I opted not to. If somebody wants to find a single package of the mama noodles and send them to us, that's totally cool, but I'm not buying a case of that. <laughs> right. Literally just finished your series, feeling a bit traumatized. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so sorry you had to endure all that. Yeah, that was, that was not cool, but what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? Jen, what oils do you recommend us women trying out? The Main Tamer hair oil is absolutely amazing. It is a vanilla with a slight bit, slight bit of a cedar scent to it. Absolutely amazing. Love it, love it, love it. Um, and my favorite <laughs> of the beard oil scents or the, the diffuser scents are the Off Grid Evening, always, and... The fresh roast coffee, I think, would be a really good car scent. Definitely. Yep. I just think it would be a nice car scent. I love the off-grid evening. I used to put my diffuser in my bathroom. and That way her bathroom reminded me her of me every time. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I also used to put the beard oil in my hair, too, though, before the main yeah. tamer came out. I did that, too. Like, I was putting beard oil in my hair like crazy. I mean, not like crazy, but just all the time. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Love you guys from Italy. How is Dagger? Dagger's good. I need to decipher what a load-bearing wall is or isn't. How do you decipher if you have a load-bearing wall or not? I mean, the way I would usually tell was just look at the house and how it's you can kind of figure out how it's framed based on the house. Like, it kind of requires, like, construction experience, though. Like, most of the time I can just look at a wall and be like, yeah, that's load-bearing, or, yeah, or, or it's not, like. But, yeah. I, how to, like, tell somebody who's not familiar with, like, building construction how to answer or figure that out, that's kind of... That's kind of tough. <laughs> First time catching you live. Sweet. Welcome. Hey, I'm going to bed. I'm way past my bedtime. Yeah, I'm way past my bedtime, too. I'm approaching three hours of being on live, which is... Any tips to grow a healthy beard? Keep the skin underneath healthy um, by using beard oil, all natural beard oil, preferably, in my opinion, and I'm biased from narrowwayhomestead.com. Use my beard oil. But, yeah. Um, keeping the skin healthy underneath and using beard butter when it gets long or using the smallest amount of beard oil in the beard hair itself help keep the hair the healthy. The top three butters. All of his butters, they all have the same ingredients. The only thing that changes are the essential oils that scent it. So all of the butters would be good. Um, just depends on what scents you like best. Oh, your voice is so iconic. <laughs> well, thanks. Jen, how does it feel to live under the rule of Lord Minion? He sleeps a lot. <laughs> <laughs> mm. And he doesn't let me forget his dinner. No, he never, never with that. Mm -mm. All of a sudden, out of where... 
out of nowhere, he will like be up and like in your face and kind of dancey and excited. And then I'll look up at the clock and I'm like, oh, Min thinks he needs food. Yep. <laughs> He's like, don't forget about me. He's 10, 10 and a half. We celebrate his birthday on the 4th of July. Mm-hmm. Aloha from a fellow homesteader in Hawaii. Uh, hello. I'm not sure. Aloha? M -A -H. Mahalo? Mahalo. Mahalo. Yeah, mahalo. Yep. For everything you do, Nate and Jen, and the rest of your animal friends, I must be thanked. Mm -hmm. Very cool. You would make a great narrator. <laughs> Waffles or pancakes is a good question. Waffles. I agree. Waffles. Definitely waffles. I'm not kidding, and beardo works wonders on nail growth and toenails. I can't explain it, but it works wonders. Well, that would explain a lot with the whole. Oh my gosh, that totally explains. That totally makes sense because I said to him the other day, I said, any woman would kill for your fingernails. I can't. I grab my clippers when I notice his nails are long. Like we're watching TV or whatever. I'll just grab my manicure kit and grab his hand. And, uh, they are I've had to do, I've had to clip his nails more than I have mine. I'm like, why are they, why do your nails grow so dang fast? That's exactly they, what it is. They grow super fast. Oh my gosh. I'm going to start soaking my hands in your nail, in your beard oil. Give it a try. Maybe it'll work. That'd be interesting to see. Just soak one hand and see if one hand has better nails than the other. Just shave one leg. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I never thought about that. I bet that's totally what's happening. That's great. Could be. Huh, that's awesome, Lisa. <gasps> that's funny. Mad Scientist Nate returns, maybe. What do you think about yourself cutting lawnmower in all caps? Well, somebody asked that maybe you earlier. Um, I, it like works great. Like it literally cut the grass all summer last year. And I'm going to do the same thing this year, and I have no plans of using any other type of mower. Super chat from Kayla. Thank you for staying up past your bedtimes to hang out with us. <laughs> You're welcome. Awesome. I'm glad you guys are having so much fun. Did the vet say about daggers, paw, and wounds? Not really much. Like, the wounds were fairly superficial. Like, they realized he was a cat getting in fights, and... They did squeeze like some pus out of his toe while he was knocked out for his um, neutering surgery. And then but they gave him a strong antibiotic shot. They gave shot. him an antibiotic shot. So he didn't have to take um, anything, but he handled it so well. This cat, you would have never known anything happened to him. I think we gave him one pain pill. I gave him two. I think two. Oh, you ended up giving him another one? Yeah, one a day. Like he just... You know, they're as needed if, if you think they're in pain and they just. Yeah, I gave him this one and this one. Okay, yeah. And these three are still. Because, yeah, he just, he seems so fine. Yeah. How much land is too much land to buy for the first time? As much as possible. There is no such thing as too much land. I thought 20 acres would be enough. And now that I own 100 acres, I'm just glad I own 100 acres. Um, that's, that's my opinion. Me and my husband are having a baby. Could you all please guess the gender would make a whole world if you did? You got to send me a picture. I can't just guess off a, off a question. You got to send they're, me a picture on an email. They're having a baby. They don't have a picture. A belly picture. I need to know how it's sitting. Like, I, I just, I just need to know things to make I don't need to random make a, women belly pictures guess. in my email. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, send it to Nate oh with the cap with, with a message that says shh. Or or that's the last parentage, thing I need. My parentage payment hey, payment. Hey, my girlfriend reads my email. That's the last thing I need. <laughs> oh, oh Dad, I would love oh to give gosh. you a, like an educated guess. I just. I mean, I guess right now, if I just have to say talking about it, I'd say boy. But I have to see. I have to see. I have to know the things. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
<laughs> Nate, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't send me belly pictures to my email. My girlfriend texts that shit. I'm That's like, right. Ah, I need the belly pictures. Well, I mean, they can be. I'm not asking for a nude belly picture or anything. I, <laughs> I just, wasn't need, I just want to know how the belly's sitting. That's all I want to know. There's, I have to see the, how the belly's sitting. And then I can tell you. I can guess without knowing how the belly sits. I'm going to guess it's a boy. Well, it must be then, because we both guess the same thing. It must be. But I literally guess yeah. everything as a boy, like I just do. Oh. Mm -hmm. But if you want the more educated opinion, I guess you'll have to contact Jen with the proper belly pictures and her own personal email. <laughs> I can't get my own personal email on here. Why not? Because <laughs> it's my own personal email. Do you give your own personal email to the TikTokers and to the YouTubers and to the people? Well, Do they all have your own personal email? I would give it to them, but since I never check it, it doesn't really make a difference. I only check my business email. You can give me your phone number for that matter. <laughs> I don't answer the phone either. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, shoot. Dagger wasn't missing, Liam. Saber's the one that's missing, and we don't have any updates on him. Nope. I think a Narrowway Homestead business email for Jen. Yeah, I'm going to be like, belly pictures here. Narrowway Homestead. I was going to make I was gonna make myself one, and he's like, no, 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 I got wine. Just use mine. I'm fine. <laughs> oh. Do you have a tourniquet? Mm hmm I have like one in each of the ATVs and one in each of the trucks. And one in the camper and one in the outdoor kitchen. And I don't even know if I have one here. Namibia? Holy cow, that's a long ways away. Well, good morning. Very cool. Night, Nate and Jen, both <laughs> of the best ever. Well, thanks. Good night. Speaking of good night, it is about time. It is about that time. I gotta. He's gonna turn off the live and pull out the TV and be like, let's watch Stranger Things till I fall asleep. Nope. I may get through one episode. <laughs> we'll see. And then I'll turn it off so he doesn't miss it and then I'll watch Young Sheldon. Mm hmm. Because he's funny. Yeah, he's funny. Mm hmm. Anybody else watch Young Sheldon? My brother was a huge, huge Big Bang Theory fan. Mm -hmm. James says, hello, how are you all? We're good. But then I'm tired. Oh, man. It's about damn time. Mm -hmm. He says, get off here. All right. Young Sheldon is fire. Yeah, it love is. It. I love it. Kayla says, good night. Love awesome. the live. Thanks, Thank Kayla. You. Have a great night. Yep. That was not her first super chat. That was very nice. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. That was their fifth super chat, it says right there. Thank you very much. Yep. It's very kind of Well, you. that's what that number means? Well, it says right there. Let's oh. celebrate this fifth. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. That might be where the five is. That's cool. I never noticed those before. That's way cool. Yes, very cool. Yep. I think Mama Wannabe is in here too. She says she watched watch it too. Cool. Very cool. Love you too, Squish. Happy birthday, girlfriend. <laughs> Everybody say happy birthday to Squish before we go. Yep. Say happy birthday to Squishy. And Dagger if you yep, want. Yep, it's Dagger's birthday today. Squishy tomorrow. Yep. Thanks, everybody, for hanging out. We'll be back next Sunday. Yep. Same time and place. We will. Look at all those happy there birthdays. There we go. Now the happy birthday. You're going to have the happiest birthday in. ever, Squish. That's right. You are. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Good night. We'll catch you next week. And appreciate you guys watching the videos.